I've been uh, multi-orgasmic or mm-hmm. like after I make white, <laughs> I will continue to stay hard to continue to make white. Ooh. Wow. Uh, a normal thing or... No. Uh, no, that's unusual. Am I no, no. great. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I, I thank you, buddy. I, Congratulations. I am, yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Drew, and this is Dr. Drew After Dark. Please be advised that Dr. Drew After Dark may contain sexually oriented content and be unsuitable for young children. And welcome to Dr. Drew After Dark. It is so good to be back. I can't even tell you. Keep those VMs coming at 818-253-1693. And of course, I've got a ton of emails to go through. Send them at drdrewafterdark at gmail.com. And a new merchandise store, I think you're all aware, store dot ymh studios dot com for merchandise and i'm here as a covid survivor and so are you <laughs> i know so are you but i'm still what? sick that's the problem what the hell first of all it's been about how long since It'll we've be a seen month. each other uh, it's almost a month Ugh, it's been a month i've been on my back it's wild so wild. you're still recovering yeah, when did yeah. you come down with it uh christmas eve fever all night i uh, didn't really realize what was going on i thought i was having alcohol withdrawal or something i thought i was I had drank too much <laughs> and my wife gets up in the morning and goes, uh-oh, touches my head, pulls out the thermometer, and just blows out of there. Gives gets it out, to gets anally. And she gives, we have a anal sex, anal and then she gets the hell out of there. Yeah. Um, Wild. And, and in spite of her having been with me all night, she did not get COVID. That is that is her miraculous um, Eastern blocker DNA. Hun. Yeah, she's part Hun, she's like a me. Hun. yeah. Because I had it very mildly. My husband was like, how is it that you never get anything? I know. It's because my I'm DNA, so I'm, it's wrapped in, in oppression and <laughs> depression and No, it's survivor genetics. Yeah. G- cockroach genetics. Fuck you, yeah. When the Holocaust comes, the nuclear Holocaust, you too, you and Susan will Fuck be you, around. COVID. <laughs> and because I'm a latchkey kid and I grew up on 80s food, I believe it's mm. Twinkies, it's tater tots, ah. it's ramen noodles. That which did not kill you made you stronger. It's my DNA is yeah, wrapped yeah. in preservatives, <laughs> so that fucking it's, virus doesn't have a chance, bro. Uh, yeah, now, how well, are you? So, the, so you're tired. Yeah, I got a cough, tired, like ringing in my ears. What? Feel like I've had a head injury. I imagine this is what a bad head injury feels like. Like mm. I, my Susan says I'm dazed some of the time. Like you're kind of dazed. I thought, oh great, because I'm not even aware of it. What do you? What is that? What is COVID doing? Is it it's eating your e- brain? Eating your brain. It's getting your brain. <laughs> It's called a, it's called a microangiopathy. It's actually destroying blood vessels and stuff in the brain, and they've seen it in the in the nasal pass. You know, that's why the nose, the olfactory sense, goes out. Yeah, uh, because I have, I still have yeah. anosmia. Mm-hmm. Um, little sidebar: COVID blessing. I'm down eight pounds. Thank you, know, COVID look at, diet. Look at the non mommy jeans she's wearing today. She'll get up and dance for you if you're not careful. Woo! Oh, don't you dare! Don't you dare! Maybe at the close. <laughs> don't make me um, dance. Don't I can't me dance. get up because I'll ruin my, my. Don't make me dance. The way I'm sitting, but uh, yeah, and I haven't had alcohol mm. since I got so I got sick on like December twentieth oh. is when I started to feel symptoms, and uh, so there you go. You well, I, I had a very strange emotional experience when I was lying there ill, really? and it was this feeling that uh, I I really kind of imagined this as a war, and I thought mm. you know I'll take I'll take the bullet I'll lie on the field of battle wounded. But God damn it, I want everyone else to live. If I'm going to get wounded, I want the world to go and live. It, and, the, and the thought that our governments, California, were destroying people's lives, it was almost more than I could handle lying there. I thought, I'm sick and they're destroying lives? That's too much. That's too yes, much I, I agree with you. Once I got it, you know, I was blessed. I'm very lucky in that I went, okay, I, I had a severe anxiety when I first started having symptoms. Why? I had anosmia first. Well, because this whole year has been around this getting this, avoiding getting this very yeah, thing. Yeah, but it's not, stati- I, people ask, that was the other strange thing. People go, are you scared? Are you scared? Are you scared? I go, I, the time to the time they asked me that, I didn't even register because I was so out of it. I thought, why would I be scared? This is 99% survival. And, and. But people, you get in trouble for, you've been in trouble for saying but, that. But it, here's is, the deal. When I had my prostate out, they, the surgeon came up to me afterwards. He goes, you have a 90% probability of cured, which he and I both knew that meant cured, 90%. 10 times, one-tenth the risk of of COVID dying versus my prostate cancer. Right. One-tenth. I, I, it didn't even occur to me that, that, that I'd have to worry about that. But the morbidity of it, I, I feel like people don't mention enough. The morbidity how, how the of it. The misery and the, all this I'm experiencing now and how long it goes and stuff. That needs yeah. to be emphasized. 
The, this the suffering associated but it, it's, with it. But it. it's all the people who are supposed to get it. It's the old 60 and over, blah, 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 metabolic syndrome. That's me. That's you. Yeah. I agree, though. But when I was sick, I thought, so I got it. And um, at first, our doctor friend, Dr. Jessica, she goes, yeah. don't don't be anxious. If you get anxious, it's going to make it worse. And I was so like. it's not going to help. It's not going to help. So I thought, you know what? Let, if this is my time, this is my time. And I chilled. And it was fairly easy for me. But then I got so sad, too, thinking that our government had completely fucked California. It's the opposite of the rational revolution. Yeah. It's the opposite. <laughs> well, it, it, just, it, it just strengthened my reasoning for wanting to go to a state where they had less government I- I influence. Craziness, yeah. Because this, look what happened. We locked ourselves down and we are now the epicenter one in three people has mm -hmm. the, the virus. Mm -hmm. So it didn't work. Right. Um, so what have you done? Why didn't it work? Why, why would why it work? It work? All the transmission is in the home. <laughs> I, that's how everybody. You, that's how I got it. My husband yes, brought it home from the hospital. So I got it. Probably got it too. Who knows? I mean, that's my son got it. So I had one son get it. No one else got it. Okay. And uh, he was. I hadn't seen you in like three weeks. Yes, that's true. Because of Tom's baby hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. So. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I, that yeah. was my last experience in this room was with Bert Kreischer, and he was he was so concerned that he had gave given Tom a baby hand. Gosh, and I told him he probably did the opposite. He probably set things out there in the field, so got blood supply back, and didn't probably didn't hurt the nerve. And Bert was, was such a champion. He flopped Tom's arm over, and I know. Saw it. I, I was know. like, what a friend. Uh, so, anyways, because that takes courage. <laughs> So what are we going to say? So we're so we're upset. Uh, uh, it's California, rational revolution. But then, I know. And but I, then, are we heading in the right direction in this country? I can't I tell. I'm so I, confused. Yeah. I'm so um, broken. I think December broke me a little uh, bit. And then we had a friend pass away, Jeff what? Scott at the comedy store. He died of a heart attack. Oh. I don't know if it's related to COVID. And it really put me in an existential funk. Let's talk about it. Okay. I'm, I'm middle-aged. I'm 44 and I feel like I'm halfway dead. Well, fuck you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Says so if you're halfway year dead, old, I'm you? three quarters of the way dead. <laughs> so, well, that's why I'm talking to you. You're my, you're my so, elder. Tell me uh, what to do. Don't worry about the 40s. It's a nothing. Don't worry about the 50s or the 60s when it, the shit hits the fan. Yeah. Yeah. That's when start stuff starts to happen for real. That's why I need Botox. To uh, more. No, yeah, don't even worry about it. Just don't, don't, it, you can, you know, the only thing to worry about is menopause and make sure they treat that properly. <sighs> God, is that, is that that's coming? gonna come up soon. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm, I'm. Hey, Eastern blogger. Yeah, yeah. TikTok. So, but make sure you treat that aggressively because that that's yeah. something that women don't do. What do I do? Of Tell me what to do. Uh, Tell the it, women. It depends on what's going on with you. Menopause. But, but there are bioidentical hormones and things, and make sure the testosterone's in the mix. And okay, it, it really. It, it, I, I've referred so many friends and patients for proper th management, and literally they feel like they're living their life again before they were just sort of lost part of themselves. How do you feel about peptides? That's a very cool thing now to inject peptides. Yeah, I saw Bert's uh, stuff. Everyone's uh, doing it. Yeah, I, I don't see any evidence that it works. <laughs> I don't see uh, uh, somebody convinced me to take the oral peptides, which I know is not as good a way to get it in, and yeah. I got three days of the worst diarrhea of my life. <laughs> Uh, so it's clearly not without potential consequences. Like yeah. anything, it needs to be more thoroughly studied. I mean, for God's yeah. sakes, what are we doing here? I don't know. I mean, if this disease doesn't teach everybody, I mean, you should hear all the BS Fuck people want to do doing? to me. It's like, just what's the, what's the data? And by the same token, we're denying data that does look good. Like this is medicine, fluvoxamine, Luvox. Mm -hmm. looks really good. I'm thinking about taking it, mm -hmm. what for, does the, it do? for the long hauler stuff I'm getting. It uh, has anti-inflammatory properties through something called the Sigma-1 receptor. It's an OCD medication. It's an old cool. SSR, yeah. And I'm thinking like 50 milligrams twice a day, and it'll help me clear my head, and I might do it. Because you have the fog. You're saying the fog, that you feel foggy. I have the fog. I have the energy problems. And yeah. I, it, I get, I'm, I'm better enough that I hate to do anything. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, my body give it some time. Give it a little time. And But if next week I'm like this, I, I will definitely do something, because that's too mm. much. That's too long. That's too long so, to be suffering. <laughs> It's weird. It's such a weird illness. Yeah. It's so well, I, I'll tell you what, though. I've had, I definitely have had flus that were way worse than, mm -hmm. than COVID. So I was kind of like. Me too. H1N1 was worse. Yo, but, yeah. But, but the relentlessness of this thing was, again, it, it at my hangs age. On it's my bit. age. Yeah. It's not, it's not going to do anything to you. I'm it just really is. 44. Isn't. I know. And you're, 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 you're I'm barely middle aged. <laughs> <just, laughs> What's, is, is it officially, because I've been watching The Crown. So, well, what um, do you think middle age would be? 40. <laughs> Halfway to dead. I'm halfway to yeah, dead. I mean, yeah. I mean, technically, so, middle so, age is like 35 to 50. Is that right? 35? Fair, 38 to oh, 54 so I've, or something. I don't know. I've but been middle age. 40 is definitely middle age. Yeah. Oh, you, for like been here. nine years. So what do you like best in the crown? Oh, man. Okay. 
First of all, I'm not so sure about season two's queen uh, casting. She bums me out. You'll I like get the there. younger You'll queen. You'll get there. You'll get there. I like her, the husband now in season two. I like that he's a bit more regulated yeah. and down to earth. Yes. Love the Prince Charles and Lady Di storyline. Yeah. Can't get enough of those How two. How great was uh, Lithgow as Churchill? Though? Oh, I oh, miss him. When, he's he's get, when he was dressed down by the queen. Yes. When he, you could see yes. how he was stricken. Well, he was yeah. stricken. I was like, that's I the best it. acting I've ever seen. I love it. Oh, the one God. thing I, I didn't like is when they invite Thatcher, spoiler alert, to um, to go to Scotland with them in the castle. Yes, yes. And they're like, you didn't bring your outdoor shoes. Yes, I and she's like, through that. fuck yeah. are you? Yeah. Who are you? And they, oh. they play parlor games and shit. I'm like, I would hate this yes, so much yes, yes. i can't do any of that so speaking of margaret thatcher love uh, her so here's the weird i thought of you constantly first i missed you profoundly because of margaret thatcher no Did i remind you of her no uh because here's what the weird the weird shit that happened to me what? brain wise okay i would go down i would get my phone and I would stare at it for like five hours and not have any idea time was passing because i was so Whoa. out of it and the the most of that time was spent either on Pluto TV, watching like Adam's Family, Beverly Hillbillies, Johnny Carson, love it, uh, uh, or or the Love Boat. Yeah. Or <laughs> you did not throw in the Love Boat. I did. I said, Man, my mother loved that show. Right, listen, these are like sociological studies. Go take revisit Wait, it, my who dear. Am I? Uh, uh, Come on in the uh, intro. Uh, uh, What's his name? The bartender. The bar yeah. Isaac. 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 That guy was the best, yes. dude. They're Gopher. all the best. Gopher I'm, was my first crush. Yeah. Well, the, it's a you just go study it sometime. You will be <laughs> yeah. There he is. You will be shocked at what goes as okay. Right. In it's like writing a, in the seventies. Date rapey. Oh, the how about the doctor that's roofing his <laughs> patient? His, is he? The, He's having sex with the passengers all the time. All the time. And come down and let me give you some pills and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes. You know, <laughs> what a fantastic he, decade. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It. You can't even believe it. I it? love And it. he's been married five times and that goes Doc. off as, hey man, now it's time to go to the sea and check things out. Just find yourself, man. Well, you so, really are going deep on the love boat. I didn't uh, know all this backstory. Uh, yeah, you yeah. were sick. My goodness. I heard the. I actually heard the doctor's backstory. <laughs> he tells it to the what captain the at one point. He tells it, and he goes, uh, and the captain goes, "I just need to know what was it like giving up your Beverly Hills, you know, your, you know, your, your, your Beverly Hills practice." And he goes, "Well, I just didn't know myself. I had to find myself. And I thought I'd come to, you know, whatever, some bullshit for the seventies. You would have been like, great on the love boat. You could have played the doc." <laughs> You've been way better looking than that guy. That guy was a fucking nerd. He drives Susan crazy in a weird way. Yeah, he's know? not he's like good, hot. He's a funny actor, though. He's good. Remember him yeah. on Get Smart? No, I didn't watch Get Smart. That's past uh, my... Okay. That's the 60s. Okay, yeah. I was born in 76. It's bro. still a classic. But, but, yeah. so anyway, okay, so, so hours on, on Pluto, phone. but many more hours on TikTok. Yes! Many yes! more. And the reason yes! I bring it up on the heels of Margaret Thatcher is... <laughs> I found Margaret Thatcher tapes all over the place, and I was watching lots of Margaret oh, Thatcher in front, of, in front of Parliament. That's right. I, I, I scroll. I found her. I thought it, you meant for some stupid reason. Maybe it's my COVID brain that she's on there now, making TikToks. Oh, she's and dead. Like, she's dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She got dementia and died. <laughs> so, yeah. Like twenty. No, no. I, that would be crazy. Whoops. Uh, but, What's the capital of uh, Tennessee? Uh, no clue. Uh, Don't care. Yeah. I know. Why? I'm just kidding. It's That's I'm, I'm quizzing Knoxville, you on like Knoxville? I don't know. It should be the most important city. It's, it's not, usually it's not, not Nashville. It's not Nashville. It's not Nashville. Okay, so but go ahead. So, so so you found Margaret Thatcher videos. I mean, look, you know, what's the capital of of Nevada? Right? What's the capital of California? Sacramento. Sacramento. It shouldn't be. Silliness. It should be L.A. Uh, is it Nashville? Oh, it is Nashville. I know because oh. I've seen the I've seen that Capitol building. Yeah, that's Speaking true. of Nashville, I'll be doing the Zanies Comedy Club March uh, 11th through 13th. Good Go for ahead, you. Get on the road, you're, you're immune right now. It's good. I, I am doing it. And listen, <laughs> I have made sure that these clubs take adequate precautions. It's at half capacity. You guys were going to wear masks, blah, blah, blah. I've made them in my contract degree so that good. I'm not putting that's people good. too much in danger. So, so go ahead. Margaret so, Thatcher, watch her, her just good. beating the shit out of the Labor Party from yeah. the podium. I She's love her. so amazing. Her command of language. The Labor Party. <laughs> the right honorable gentleman <laughs> from uh, Manchester. <laughs> and how much of a cunt is um, Prince Charles with Lady Di and that whole thing? Terrible. Camilla Parker Bowles. It's terrible. What a great saga. And you know they're getting a bunch of shit right now for this is all dug up all their stuff again. Well, and they go, it's just fiction. Mm, uh, not really. <laughs> no, it's not. 
It's fiction. It's a fictionalized nonfiction. Yeah. You know, it's great. Maybe some dramatic license, but that's, come on. You know, what's interesting though, Drew, is that Tom said that when he was in the hospital at his lowest emotional point, it was a TikTok that made him laugh again. Which one? (laughs) It was like, (laughs) it was a guy pretending to have cerebral palsy in a grocery store. And then the person next to him was trying not to look at him. I try to be super polite, you know? (laughs) That's free. <laughs> yeah. Well, I like TikTok. TikTok. TikTok is for the people. It's of the people. I went down many rabbit holes. <laughs> and I found this one woman who did a, a gigantic deep dive into the War of the Roses. And I went there. Oh, wow. I mean, crazy shit like that. I was just like. Ugh. Everything's there. Everything you yeah. need is on TikTok. That's, oh, this is. is what Tom left. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> The caption is, he trying to ignore me, which is the whole, <laughs> that's like the punchline to it all. He trying to ignore me. <laughs> oh, fuck. The world is great. It is great. But TikTok brought me joy. Yeah. I don't know if I will go back to it the way I, with the great, the great, the great, uh, as much um, enthusiasm as I yeah. had when I was sick. See, that's my brain. I all get the little loops and get stuck. It's weird, right? Do you think you can repair this brain damage? Yes. Or will oh, you absolutely. Be it's forever? Be better. Yeah, no, no, no. It's like a head injury. Like, what's the matter with you? I just had a... <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> like, like we can't call you Dr. Drew anymore <laughs> because you're too dumb. Like, what's the IQ threshold where you can't be considered a doctor? Well, certain, I mean, I guess brain injury generally would sort of disqualify you from practicing, <laughs> generally speaking. So, but I went in. I saw some patients. I did pretty well. I'm going in again okay. tomorrow, too. So. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. So your brain will regenerate. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's just weird, like, stamina stuff and concentration. Remember how stuff. mad cow affected people's brains is, yeah, is this destroyed them. similar oh. <laughs> no, it actually created complete encephalopathic spongiform degeneration of the brain they that end up on bad. ventilators <laughs> seizing that's mad cow disease it's called creutzfeldt jakob disease that was bad that was that 90s. was not good kuru it was called at one point yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sucked yeah. uh but what, was, what were you going to say about this Fuck, I forgot. Yes, you have, you're a little break. COVID I got some, break. No, I'm just. But I missed uh, you so much. Oh, I just want to talk to you. I, I just wanted to talk. And so people are going to have to sit here and listen to us talk because <laughs> because I've had a million things I wanted to talk a to you A million things. Anosmia. I still haven't yeah. fully recovered. Yeah. And it comes and it goes, yeah. oddly. So what? why is that? I can't There's smell. There's microangiopathic just... changes in the olfactory bulb. They actually destroys the English. cells. They do come back. Blood vessels get damaged, damage the cells. Hold on, hold but on. But here's the deal. The well, I, I, I had full sensory nasal, no problem. But my taste went out except salty. Mm. Everything tasted salty. It was the weirdest. And I could tell it was the side of my tongue, which is where salt is. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. It was I just, could tell. Yeah, it's just, uh, and, and, and temperature, which is actually a separate sense. Whoa. Our tongue has a sense of temperature. That's a separate, you know, we say sixth Fuck. sense. That's the sixth that sense, actually. Yeah, I can only, the smell comes and goes. The taste comes and goes. I can tell sweet and salty. Mm. But again, been great for the diet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 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 sorry, the virus attacks your olfactory blood it, vessels? It, it, Is it, that what you're telling vessels, me? blood vessels, it seems to do damage on. Yeah, how damage. and all, you know, we don't, there's things called uh, neutrophil clusters that seem to be something that form and hurt blood vessels. I have to concentrate Fair. so hard when I listen to you. Well, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> I can actually feel myself pushing my brain, like, oh, that's, factory. That's COVID brain. No, and, this is like this before. That's your usual brain. That's your <laughs> Every time you talk, I'm like, focus, Christina, focus as hard as you can. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so. So. Um, Okay, so my anosmia, it yes. comes and it goes. And it's all the it's... brain and neutrophil clusters. Rather than activation of usual inflammatory mediators or usual uh, clotting factors, it seems to be something different going on, which is kind of weird. It's so weird. God. How could this thing not have been invented in the laboratory? It's oh, don't of... say that. Are you becoming a conspiracy no, theorist No, I'm not. Now? Well, I, I don't think anybody unleashed it from a laboratory, but I could see where people were messing around with the virus, something got out. This, this is what I would expect it to do. Are you saying because it's such an awesome diet, that we, uh, yes. we could inject this part into fat chicks like me into, into middle-aged moms that could drop a few lbs Mo- mommy genes yeah mommy virus <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i'm telling you it certainly does bring up an interesting way of possibly approaching dietary management well that's what i was yeah. thinking is if you could do like botox is essentially botulism that they put in your face why not market this anosmia thing and inject it into women you lose a quick five 
I, do, do the research. D- d- fine with me because I, I, everybody's like, oh, are you bummed? I'm like, kind of, but uh, I also like losing weight. So I can live with this side effect. You know, this is how I got out, all I got out of COVID. Speaking Great. of do the research, there's another yeah. weird thing that's happening in my profession. It's so weird. And it's not the rational revolution. Go that's ahead. what I want to discuss with you. There's a ton of literature out there on all kinds of novel and improvisational ways to approach this thing, and everything suggests you hit it early and hard, the better things go, okay? Right. Meaning the COVID virus. When the you COVID virus. And, and doctors are afraid to do stuff. It's the weirdest thing. Mm. There is, you know, bamlanivimab is this monoclonal antibody. It doesn't even sound real. I, I got it. I got it. It really helped you me. You guys are just Doctors say it doesn't, naming. you can't do anything with it. Ivermectin, worldwide, used to great effect. How do they Does name nothing. these? Hold on, who's naming? They make them up. They make them up. Valama, lama, yeah. lama, lama. They seriously make them up. <laughs> it's it's be a, They make up the generic name and then they make up the that's trade name. So dumb. How about how about words like Xanax? Oh, that's a good one though. Yeah, but Xanax. We need we need a, a Z X word. X yeah. is powerful. X Xan Xanax. No Zanax. no anxiety. Xan yeah. Z- X anxiety. Yeah. Xanax. Oh, yeah. perfect. We got it. Lexapro. It's all made up. Powerful. All made up. And then sertraline <laughs> is the real name, and they make or that's for Zola. Off, but they made that up too. So dumb. Okay, yeah. so these names of these drugs. So you're uh, saying that? Yeah. So, so uh, doctors are, but but every surgeon I talk to, and I talk to lots of surgeons who have, because I'm trying to help sort of get the word out and what I found worked and what works for me and stuff. And I'm trying to talk to peers. That's why we've always done that. And every surgeon I talk to goes on it, doing it. Okay, perfect, got it. Every internist I talk to, they go, "There's not sufficient evidence. We don't have an evidence <laughs> basis for this." I, I was like, "What happened to my peers?" Right. We, the, 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 the clinical always preceded the evidence base. The evidence mm. base, you have to have it to kind of defend it and continue it and maintain it. But, now but it's at the beginning, be... when you're desperate, you, you use clinical judgment to decide right. what to well, do. Wasn't that what that lady was accused of in the beginning? Remember they had that weird conference? Those doctors were talking yes, in the yes. lab coats, and she right. goes, I have tried. What did she say? Hydrochloxacloroquine. It was probably hydroxychloroquine back then. But that drug became the poster child for this craziness. Anti-rational revolution. Yes. Anti-rational oh, revolution. Oh, right. But was that actually effective? Because that was a Probably didn't do too much. Probably didn't do too much. But, but, but she used it and it yeah, worked. And some people and swear it's... by it. And I, you know, I, I took it uh, when I was sick because a friend of mine who, who's an advocate begged me. I said, you I'll tried take, it? I'll take it. I'll take it. And I took ivermectin right away, which I was convinced would be helpful. And it was. It was very helpful. I might, if my flu part only lasted about four days. But then the inflammatory thing was, oh. That, and that's why I took decadron and bamlanivimab. Well, one of the most powerful ways to improve your overall health and happiness is to get a good night's sleep. But if your routine has changed, it's it's COVID, man. And if you've had COVID, believe me, it is harder to fall and stay asleep. We all love and need sleep. And again, 2020 has been a lot. We could benefit from less stress, more sleep in our lives. Important to take care of ourselves. That is why I'm excited to partner with Calm. It's the app designed to help you ease stress and get better sleep. When you relieve anxiety, you improve your sleep. Calm has a whole library of programs designed for healthy sleep, sound, whatever is best for you. you even EM, you, whatever is best for you. Things like soundscapes, guided meditation, sleep stories. Over 85 million people around the world use Calm to ease their mind, take care of their minds, get better sleep. And if you go to calm, C-A-L-M dot com slash Dr. Drew, you will get a limited time offer of 40% off Calm premium subscription. The app is amazing. There's a ton there. It includes hundreds of hours of programming. Get the Calm app and experience a transformation in the way you sleep. So for our listeners, Calm is offering a special limited time promotion, 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash Dr. Drew. Again, that is a 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. New content, of course, is added every week. Get started today at calm.com slash Dr. Drew, that is C-A-L-M dot com slash Dr. Drew. Next up is our friends at Liquid IV. I use Liquid IV a lot, leaned on those products when I was recovering from COVID. And you probably all know they're a popular hydration drink mix. Their energy multiplier is a game changer. It gives you an extra boost. I think we all agree 2020 has been rough. Time to clean the slate and start with 2021 in the right foot. One stick of the energy multiplier is like drinking two cups of coffee. It's an all-natural alternative to processed energy drinks for a sustained energy boost boost throughout the day. Now, half of all Americans report they struggle with daily fatigue. I know I do. Some, you know, decreased focus, decreased motivation. Well, with Liquid IV Energy Multiplier, you can upgrade your vibe and reach a state of what they call awesome. And of course, Liquid IV's cellular transport technology, CTT, delivers an optional ratio of nutrients for more efficient 
uptake. It's enhanced rapid absorption into the bloodstream, gives you lasting energy boost fast, powers morning, fuels days, provides a boost, clean ingredients, non-GMO vegan, and free of gluten, dairy, and soy. It is extremely convenient packaging. It is cellular transport technology. Grab your energy liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com. Use code DRDRW at checkout. That's 25% off everything you order, anything you order, when you use that promo code Dr. Drew at liquidiv.com. Start fueling your adventure today at liquidiv.com, promo code Dr. Drew. Isn't it wild that we got the pandy disease? When you think about your lifetime, yeah, that's what Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino call it, the pandy. You know, Andrew, I talked to you several <laughs> times while I was sick. Yeah, I texted and, him a few and, times, And, and he, uh, he had very similar experience to me. Very, really? very similar. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He was afraid to tell everybody about it because people shame people for getting an illness. It's the weird. People they shamed do. me like crazy. Tell me about Did it. Did you see all that? I try not to because it hurts my heart. I don't like to <laughs> think you. of you getting shamed. I think it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. Oh, you're, you're sick already. What, why would you do that? Well, I will, look at yourselves. Rash revolution. Everybody. I know. We it's so revolution. silly because there is, but he did talk about a sense of shame. Yeah, you don't want to come out with it because you're I'll like, I'll come out people... with it as long as it's an illness. I'm a doctor. I, I want to share my experience, help people. Right. That's. I, but the lay people, out, that, you're thinking like a medical person. Right? Like civilians go, what did he not do? Because I think there's some Im- immorality tied to... Oh my God. You must that not is not the done, rational revolution. I know, but you must not have done what they told you. You may not. I you was, didn't wear your mask. I was you were shaking hands. I was fastidious I know, about everything. But there's so much judgment. By the way, I got mine from my husband who was in the hospital. I wasn't reckless. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, I probably got mine from the hospital too, mm-hmm. running around trying there to get the vaccine. Oh. I was trying to get the vaccine. They stonewalled me. Three days later, I'm sick. How dare they stonewall Dr. Oh, was, Drew? Was Do they bad, know bad. who they uh, are Whatever. Doing? I didn't want to step out of line, whatever. But I then I oh. but I, I offered to volunteer in the emergency room. I said, oh, oh great. Cool. You guys need help. I'll come in. All right, I've got to get you vaccinated. No. What? What yeah. do you mean? No, just nothing. They just didn't just not, have it. They, I think they thought I was trying to manipulate the system, like oh, to, try to, to claim I was going to be in the ER to get the vaccine. No, I want. Well, I still want to work in the ER. Oh. Now that I'm immune, I'll just bring it. Let's yeah, that's what I'm saying. But now I can't think. I, I can't handle it. I can't. I don't have any stamina to do it. So good, good, well also, done, you guys. That was a great choice. I great know. Choice. Clarify the immunity that you get after you have COVID, because I've broader, had broader, my... deeper, broader, deeper immunity. The question is how long. So you and I now have immunity, not, not just to the spike protein, but to multiple proteins that the virus presents with. So even if the spike protein changes, mutates, we'll have some immunity against some other capsid immunity. proteins and stuff. Pretty good immunity. Pretty good immunity. Now, the question is how long? Right. And will there be a, a memory function, a cellular immunity that follows the humoral immunity that we're going to, I'm going to test for that. I'm going to test you for that. I and we're going to follow it. And when it falls off, we'll get the vaccine. Okay. And, and Sounds like it. a plan. Yeah. And that's, Sounds like a plan. In the meantime, we're free to move about the cabin. Now, I'm going to wear a mask because I've been told by Dr. Fauci, you wear the mask. Of course. And I do too. I, and it makes everybody comfortable. Of I'll course. I'll wear the mask. Even though I have zero potential to transmit, zero tra- potential to, to contract, and zero potential to transmit, you know, whatever. I know. I kind of want to wear a, a t shirt around town that's I like, know. I've already had it. Do I have to I fucking put my antibody levels up on it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll spit so. in your mouth. <laughs> Oh my God! Hey, Bert was anxious for the first I few know. days I was sick. Am I okay? Am I okay? He's calling me. I'm like, dude, I can't talk. I'm too sick. Do you think Bert would do okay with COVID? I wouldn't want to be uh, Leanne. Let's just say, <laughs> or his kids, I, I, or his dogs. What would happen? No, he's in. He he claims that his numbers are good and that he's not in poor health. He's overweight. We all know that. But that's very different. That he he likely would get a pretty good. Well, it, age is the main thing. It's age. Yeah, and he probably wouldn't get you know that bad a hit. Uh, but I wouldn't want to be around Bert sick. No, could that, you imagine? Oof, oof. What a baby. Oof. Are you a baby when you're sick? No, I, I, I just withdraw. I don't want anybody. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to be around I anybody. Wish I my husband was like you. Sit and watch TikToks all day. Yeah. <laughs> Which was, I mean, I went down some rabbit holes <laughs> backstage at Disneyland. Okay, well, we'll um, get into them. Should we? Do we go to some TikToks? If you want to, it's, like, let's, it's your it, jam. Just because it's yeah, it's my jam. And now. then we'll do some. We'll do some emails. Do some voice yeah. messages. Let's, sure. Thank you for letting us chat a little bit. But but I we need to bring on the Russian Revolution. Oh, you know who called me and oh. he said to say hi to you. Oh. Uh, Gene Simmons' son, Nick. Really? 
Really? And he wants to help out with the homeless thing. He's a super bright, very nice kid. And oh, I've known cool. him for I've known him a little bit for a while. I think I remember them on the reality and show. He said, yes, he's a super yeah, good they're a cool person. family. And he was like, uh, I'm a big fan of you, Aww, you two. Good. And I'm all in on the Rush Revolution. All right. I got all the lingo. I love I'm, it. Uh, I'll, you know, I'll, Queens from, uh, by the way, Queens did you see the, did you, we should, we should start with the, 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 oh, the, the no. greeting from, that so, I got. So, so this is the best. Drew is sick and we were, I was, we were checking, anyway, I was checking hi on you. So yes, I, hi. Okay. I love I'll, him. I'll get you meet him. Yeah. Um, and so Drew, uh, what were we texting about? You were I, like, I'm I on was TikTok. like, I'm like, when is this going to be over? I feel terrible. And, and I, I, and Queen, and the, the King made me feel so much better when he, when, when, when I was sucked into his world, maybe he can make me yeah. feel better. I said, yes. And so I DM the King <laughs> and I go, look, you and I have a history. <laughs> You know it and I know it. We're highly attracted to each other. Alas, I'm married, King. Because he really wants to take me out on a date. Oh, is that right? It's not going to happen. Oh, is that... I'm married. I can't go on a date with wait, another wait man. You, first, first of all, there's no doubt in my mind Tom would sign off on this. I know. Number that's one. The problem. Number one. No, Why is he number signing two, off on this? I want an RPC's house. The least you can do <sighs> is go on a date with, with the King. Just a little, just a coffee. God, Here's coffee. This and would be the some, some hot breakfast, and, and there would have to be cameras and mics for sure. It'd be the best Fuck. thing ever. Where is he? Where is he? I don't know. I don't. Would I he come out here? Too far. Stop he drives it. a truck. He probably drive by. <laughs> Certainly, when you're in Austin, he'll drive by there. <laughs> I hate you right now. I'm gonna revoke what's my. Your, what's do we have here? the video that Doctor Drew that he made for Drew? I'm looking for it right Thanks. now. Thanks. Okay, so we'll play it when we find that. In the meantime. All right, in the meantime, what do we got here? This is a TikTok, I think, so encapsulates before, before you go to, are, you, are you noticing my brain is not right? Are you, can you No, yeah. okay, I, good. listen, on a regular, on a great day for you, you're like 100 times smarter than me. You seem <laughs> totally, true. yeah, that's, you're, uh, you're like the nuclear homo, I, I hematoma. Just know, I know Zachary, biology, dude, just, I know biology. And I'm, and I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking yeah, about? Yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, can we play this one? You have a minute, yeah, one I'm looking for my other talk. This guy encapsulates go. 2020. Oh. Uh, I would like to have that energy. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be that guy. To be that Rather than be put off by him, I want to be him. I know. You will be. It'll come back. Uh, it, it has I, to. I, yeah, it does. It's just a matter of how long. And mm, this, this no. is the thing with this thing. Is that it? Has he got more? No, that's it. That's it's just him. him screaming in a car. But haven't we all had a moment like that this 2020? Where you're you know, I saw like... a bunch of those kinds of uh, screaming in the car videos yeah. when I was scrolling by stuff. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I haven't screamed. I have just been like, what the fuck? I don't, I'm not a big screamer. I'm more of a what the fuck. I talk to myself a lot. In the car? Just everywhere. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Do you talk do, to yourself do, a lot? I don't, but but do oh. you have an accent when you do? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes I do. Yeah, these fucking bullshit. That's so good. It's <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Hi, King. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. This video goes out to a very special king. Drew, I hear you're not feeling well today. Thank you, King. I wasn't. I hope you... You made me feel Get better. A fast recovery. I didn't. I am sending you all my wishes. That was on Monday. And I am sending you yeah. good spirits and to get better. He promised me. The king has faith in you. Uh, you thank will you, king. get better. I did. I got you better. You will be starting to feel better by Wednesday. Wednesday. Unfortunately, believe I, me. I, I have faith in me. I did. I did. I will send everything I can. Thank you, King. I believe you. To you. get better. Now, I believe you. You guys he have talks a beautiful too day. But, I did. You guys okay. need to jump on my page. Okay. Oh, Drew, it makes me crazy. Recovery. Drew, I can't take but, it. But here's the deal. He was okay. fucking. He was way off. I hope you Drew, get better. This is why I can't have You're dinner have with him. Me know shit. Okay, King. If everything is the, good, wrap the it drag up. On. Yeah, 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 shut. The, we get it. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> so, King, hope you I'm have King, a good day. I, I hope you get better. Yeah, shut I know. up. Have a beautiful day. Okay, okay. bye bye now. King, now here's the deal. Here's the deal. Let me have a camera here. King, you did make me feel better, and I really did appreciate the, the sentiment. Yes. But you were way off on the Wednesday thing, way off. It was another two weeks after that before I really felt better. How so, dare you? But I believed you. I believed it would be Wednesday, so it gave me a little bit of relief to think I'd be better by Wednesday, but I was not. Alas. I mean, how dare you nullify the King's healing I didn't. Powers. I didn't nullify. <laughs> he said, give me the feedback. He said, I want to know how, you're, how it goes. Okay. And I'm giving him the feedback. He's, he needs the feedback. He's, he's got you know, magic powers. <laughs> We Have you what? seen his like, what? PO, his magic powers? He has like POV videos where he pretends to be hovering over you as you wake up in the morning. Oh, that was where, that was the one where I got sucked in. You forget that was the one where <laughs> I was like, I feel it, I feel him, I got it. He makes me feel good.
dude but like is he weird. just but how is he so horny because how old is he like how are you men, that horny men, uh, is it that horny or is it is he making money it, no I, it's not it, making it, money. It's, listen i ordered his sweatshirt zolo how much of a, an involved process was getting the sweatshirt because zolo actually did it it's pretty complicated <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Definitely more complicated than it should be. Right. Yeah. He ain't making money. Okay. Because okay. so he's not making but, but it he's, easy. Yeah, but is he, I mean, are we finishing here with these ladies? Are they finishing? Or is, you know what Wait, I mean? Wait, what? Is this like cam action he gets into with some of these uh, yeah. queens? Yeah, because initially it started with him soliciting boob videos. He's like, show me your boobs. Oh, I did not yeah. know the history. The, the genesis. Uh, we get into it on YMH. I don't want to get too crazy into it now because okay. we do a lot. Okay, can we just do? Um, I just wanted. I really would like to see the the boot thing. If we could uh, pull that one up, because that and then and then we should do some emails and stuff. Yeah, because yeah, I, man, this one. Ew. Yo, yo, what is yo, going on, buddy. Whew. Ew. And they're muddy too. They're. Sure, it's not chocolate. No. He stepped in a. It went to a chocolate factory. Oh my god. And he's very aggressively licking that boot on the subway. That is. That's a wild. So what's going on? I don't know. Uh, there, well, there's something <laughs> called pica syndrome. That's what I had guessed. You know, uh, where people eat dirt and ice and ashes and things like that. What um, causes that, by the way? Uh, iron deficiency is the classic cause, but oh. there's some psychiatric stuff that'll do it too. Meaning anxiety? Is it? Is it? Is it no, an anxiety thought thing? disorder stuff. Bad stuff. Oh. Bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and um, whoopsie. And, and it doesn't, but it's, but it's usually chunky stuff like soap and ashes and uh, ice not just um, it's not liquidy dirt like that i've seen so people much. eat like stucco yeah ukrainian people kind of are doing yeah, yeah. that on tiktok i saw that too <laughs> yes <laughs> you saw that too wow you're deep into yeah. it i love yeah. it yeah i got i got some i had some i and you know what i i, I did some instagram lives <laughs> to sort of update what was what i was going through to help educate people about what i was experiencing and uh, Ukrainians jumped on with me repeatedly and they did not speak english it was a little bit, a little bit difficult they're the best and then because of Tom, uh, I've been deep down the 90 Day Fiance hole too. And uh, how many Ukrainian women are in? Uh, how what, many what percentage are Ukrainian women? Uh, and and then, how many crazy Ukrainian women? Yeah, are in but 90 smart Day? too. Did you notice that they speak yeah. perfect multiple oh. languages? And and I I don't think they got enough credit. And what are they doing with those screwball dudes? Is I know. Women the, and can't they just meet guys that live in proper cities? They're always on the outskirts. Yes. Like I live two hours south, four hours yeah. south of Seattle. Like just yeah. live in Seattle, bro. Yeah, yeah. Or just I, I, live, I live on the outskirts of New Orleans. But, but I love New Orleans. Yeah, like he. They always live three hours away, but then they work in the city. Like yeah, just yeah. commute. I mean, don't commute. Move. Anyway, the yeah. point is, I really like. So fun. Those two. By the way, the two Ukrainian women are are, are, are comedically so good. Yeah. No. <laughs> they always have lip injections at like twenty five. Oh, too much filler. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my goodness. And then they have um absurd oh, hair extensions. And by the way, I did uh, on the Dr. Drew podcast, I did an hour interview with Angela. Uh, from Angela and Michael. What? Yes, I did. She came on my Michael. podcast. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. I got to see this. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah, I got to see that. Oh uh, yeah, it's I think it's out right now. Uh, oh my but God. Yeah, but she was great and because I knew it would bring Susan joy, I brought her <laughs> onto the podcast with and now they are BFFs. They spent hours on the phone together. So if you'd like to get into that, <laughs> it'd be a threesome on that Woo! one next. So, so Man, yeah, they are. Don't the... you love, <laughs> so can, now, can I uh, tell you some? If you were to tell me that you became Angela. best friends with Brad Pitt, I'd be like, I don't care. It's <laughs> the 90 day fiance celebrity <laughs> that like really gets me going. This is the best. Yeah, she's I great. I like her. She yeah, is. Angela. She was a lot of fun. She's, she's a bright cool. lady. She's had some very interesting Good career her. stuff in her life. She, she, she's, she's, again, you don't get the full picture of the person, right. the, you know, and uh, she wouldn't tell me what's going on with Michael, who I also I actually admire too. I like Michael. Sweet. Yeah, They're cute. Sweet. Yeah, good kid. Good guy. Uh, okay. Mm. But anyway, uh, so I will continue oh. to cultivate my relationships. Please. With the do. <laughs> and by the way, all I care about. I, by the way, I was being, I was being, uh, monitored by all these TLC execs and stuff. And I said, and, and God damn it, I should be doing those wrap ups. Should I should be doing those, uh, those reunion shows. I, I mean, agree. Not, not, uh, the woman that does it, she seems great. I and love she's her. Pretty but she's pretty. I great. She's great. But, but 
I should be doing those. At least I with agree. her. Let me come in with her at least. Don't, because don't I fire think her. she I don't doesn't she doesn't go hard enough. Uh, well, she she does, but I could tell it's kind of scripted hardness. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like I, we could really find some shit out if I were in there. Yeah, so, look at so, you. I love yeah, it. I, I want to yeah. see what's really going on yeah. there with some of these people. I agree because watching you on Celebrity Rehab and 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 uh, well, Team Mom, Mom, same thing. Yeah, yeah you're a tiger. You're the one. It's not a tiger. The big guns. It's, it's. I know the techniques. I know. Yeah. I know. There's. I know. My. I, I have like a. You know, yeah. Old fact. I have like For a crazy. sensibility. Yeah. I know. <laughs> my nose goes go that way. Go go go. I, I just know when the stuff yeah. in there. That and, you, I, and you also have the power <laughs> of persuasion and. Uh, no, it's. I, they could not. They could. They're. They are certainly at their liberty not to answer my questions. And I always tell them that if I go too far, just don't. Don't answer. It's and fine. And that's why they answer you. But, but, but I'm gonna. But I'm gonna ask what I feel. Something's <laughs> up. I'm gonna go and uh, prepare yourselves. And, and and don't don't answer if it's uncomfortable for you. It's fine. But they usually they usually actually feel like held and contained and like it's a mm. safe kind of thing, which it usually is. Well, that's how and, I feel. And when people want to be seen. When people want to be you. seen. Seen and heard. Yeah. All the felt, time. felt, seen, and yes, heard. Yes, hundred percent. Feeling felt is a big important thing. Uh, but that's what I like about you: very paternal vibes, mm -hmm. very uh, capable vibes. You're the best. When people are like, "What's Doctor Drug?" I mean, he's the best. Very, very cool. Well, I, no, competency, no bad is vibes. An competency is an important thing to me. Well, I talked about that with Tom. We were watching movies the other day. Yeah. And I was like, that Jason Bourne, he's competent as fuck, and that's why he's, he's hot. Men Han Solo too. Men don't know that that's what women appeals to. Women. I told him yeah, that. Yeah, and you, I they know. they have to understand it. But you, but you pointed out yeah. that his competence as a comedian. You've told me the story oh, that how much that, that that's so true. You. When he yeah. was like 23, he was yeah. competent, and I was like, Tom Segura, <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? I think I love you. <laughs> I, I decided and you, that and I... And you treated him like shit when he came to the back of the room. Yeah, yeah. Look at my black nails. Look, it's me, a <laughs> fucking bitch. And then I decided I was going to marry him at a backyard party. Oh. And I was like, I think I'm going to marry this guy. And then, yeah, it fucking happened. Well, good for you. Yeah, it's the power. Quite a... The lady a, powers. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah. So so where were we? Oh, the bootlicker. The so, bootlicker, so thought here's the deal, disorder, man, possible. Thought disorder. Okay, so I went that direction too. Uh, but I'm surprised you didn't go the other direction, which is the D-I-C-K. This guy's dick gets hard licking boots. And, and it's thought that he has a mistress oh, who's yeah. telling him to do that. Oh, and, like somebody's watching him do it. That makes perfect sense. And I then later missed he it. jays his D. I missed it. You're yeah. right. Yeah. You are right. <laughs> How could you not th think about it? Your... You know, because I, I, I know when it's right, I just don't automatically go to really weird places. I, I You yeah. have to kind of prompt me there. And but... also maybe because you probably <laughs> haven't been thinking about your own D-I-C-K in a not. month. Have not. Yeah, you're, you're off you're, balance. Your, your drive to live just goes away. <laughs> with your drive to reproduce. And <laughs> with Tom, I've noticed that once we revived his peener, that was the final piece in his recovery. Because yeah. I was like, you've got your OT, which is well, above the waist, PT, yeah. and then the wife comes in, yeah. and then I revitalize it, that it, area. It, it, it re, it, it, so, you know, Susan is very accommodating with these things. Uh, as you, She's my guru. You yeah. can listen to my interviews with her on where my mom's at, where she gives all her trade secrets yes, away. Yes. And, and she has been quite. Um, All her trade secrets, not mine. She, 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 she literally was like texting me, "Is this? You know, like, Are you ready?" I should pull this text up. They're hysterical. But but I was like, eh. you know, I'm like I'm sick. You know, she's like, I just sick. And then finally we got it going. You did. But I got to say, uh, I wasn't myself. And yeah. it sort of stood out as not myself for me, and like maybe your felt, performance you felt was no, it was not... okay, but it was just like I, I'm not me. I know I'm not me right now, and it's just really disturbing. Mm. And uh, but 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 she won't give up. She, she's she's relentless. She's a, she's a because she's a good wife, and the good wife knows that the D is the last piece in the puzzle. My husband, when he's and the first, yeah, and when he's really sick and he doesn't. That's why I know something's wrong. When yeah. Tommy doesn't want his D touched mm. or messed with, I'm yeah. like, well, I better. That's bad. Yeah, we got to get this going. You get the physical, the appetite back for food mm. and then sex, and you know the guy's good. He's back. Yeah. He's back. And he, now he is. He's walking around. Yeah, it, it is weirdly a drive to live that goes yeah. with that. Yeah. The peener is Man. so important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm yeah. coming back. I'm not all the way back. So well, whatever. you'll get your peener <laughs> back in line. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's do a little email here. Uh, listening to you guys, uh, finished episode 54, discussing how to go about suggesting sex toys to teenagers 16 and up. I don't remember, I, I don't remember the conversation, I don't know. but okay. Uh, share my story. My mom has always been very open about sex. My sex was, boys want to do the four Fs. Find you, feel you, fuck you, and forget you. Thanks, mom. 
That, that's a great way to <laughs> make young ladies feel comfortable around men. Uh, so my mom would tell 16 me. 16-year-old mom wanted to buy a sex toy, and I know how you feel about your mom. Uh, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I felt it was great advice from one to another. The four ups was sound advice. Maybe too traumatic. Yes, for a 12-year-old. Thank you. Uh, so a v- bullet vibrator on her bed from the mom. Oh, Russian vaccine question. Wait a minute. You're just going to... Well, there well, was really no question. She was just telling us that... Oh, uh, my that mother would tell me the same uh, thing. Uh, she say nine minutes for the man, nine months for the woman. Men only want one thing, to fuck you. And I was like... Pfft. And you oh, were what, seven? Yeah, so it's like the very beginning <laughs> of my sex ed. And then she would say, marriage is a business arrangement. There is um, no... So-. And I was like, okay, well, now wait a minute. I was yeah, with you on the first two. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how I buy that. There, there, are, there are business arrangements and family building elements. And yes. it's very nice if you can have a foundation in love. A hundred percent, yes. Well, I think everyone understands that uh, mental health has been uh, an issue lately and uh, people are having more mental health issues. The good news is more people are going to therapy and BetterHelp is just one of those services that is out there for you. And I've heard amazing things from the patients. So it offers licensed online professional therapists to listen and give you help they were, they're were they used to doing all kinds of issues, including anxiety, depression, stress, relationship issues, sleeping, LGBT, trauma, anger, family conflicts, the usual range of mental health issues that can be managed with therapy. They're having great results at BetterHelp. Easy to schedule, secure video or phone sessions, plus exchange unlimited messages with your therapist from the comfort of your own home, of course. And we all know that finding a therapist can be intimidating and difficult. With BetterHelp, you simply fill out a questionnaire, helps better assess your particular needs, get matched in under 48 hours. And if for any reason you're unhappy with your counselor, you can change at any time with no, at no additional charge. So... Join the 1 million plus people who've taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced BetterHelp counselor. BetterHelp is a convenient, affordable option. It's easy to access. We're all at home anyway. Our listeners get 10% off your first month with the discount code After Dark. So get started today at BetterHelp, B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash After Dark. And again, discount code After Dark. No shame in asking for help. Next up, our friends at Blue Chew. Now, forget the myths and stigma surrounding erectile dysfunction. The truth is it can affect anyone, anytime, and may be a sign of more serious illness. In other words, don't just accept it and definitely do not ignore it. For over 20 years, millions of men have found sildenafil or tadalafil, the active ingredients in Viagra and Cialis, to be effective treatments for ED. And Blue Chew has taken these medications to the next level by offering them as a chewable tablet that you can get safely and easily online. It's an efficiency. Your Blue Chew experience starts with an online physician consultation that work with you to determine your treatment options, dosage, and simply ship the Blue Chew discreetly to your door. Blue Chew's fast-acting chewable doses let you be more spontaneous, and each tablet is individually wrapped so you can keep them with you wherever you go. And because they use the same active ingredients as the name brands, you can trust the effectiveness and the safety. So if you're ready to make a change, skip all the in-person doctor visits. There's no reason for any of that anymore, and not even the trip to the pharmacy. Just give Blue Chew a try. For a limited time, my listeners get their first Blue Chew order for free. Just pay $5 shipping fee. Crazy. Get started. Visit Blue Chew, B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W, BlueChew.com. Use code Drew at checkout. That is Blue Chew, B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com. Use code Drew. Uh, I live in Russia. I want to get vaccinated. Moderna Pfizer not available. Uh, Sputnik 5, however, is available. What's this? Developed Sputnik by State Run Institute. You don't hear about their Sputnik vaccine? You mean the fucking cosmonaut Sputnik? That's what they call it because they got it out before anybody. They, no they got it out shit. first and they start, and, and uh Putin gave it to his like nieces and stuff and a lot of the Ruskies beat us? Yeah, but she's asking, is it safe? Should I flee the country and get back to the Of course it's properly? not safe. That's Mikhail. Putin's shit. Um I saw a fucking um Icarus. You yeah, see that documentary? I, I, I we the, I trust the, this. the for sure they didn't do the research that was done on the stuff here. Uh fuck no, dude. It, it may be okay in actuality. I don't I haven't heard any major stuff. No, dude, uh, don't take it that shit. It is being used. Uh, it's a human adenovirus, so it's a it's a well. Yep, that's a it's more. The question is, is it really giving good efficacy? And I think it was at best like seventy percent. No, so there don't you go. take this. But, but uh, to be fair, I'm going to take the Novavax vaccine when that comes out, What's, and that's a similar 
idea to this. Uh, how is okay? So it's a Nova. No, who Nova makes Vax. this? Uh, it's, it's, uh, Nova Vax makes it. It's Nova Vax product. Are they and American? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. I'll take it. <laughs> they American? <laughs> <laughs> I trust. I trust uh, the Israelis now. I like the Israelis because they didn't they come up with the first one. They were part of the deal. They Fuck were. yeah. I trust that. Russia, yeah. absolutely not. Yeah, Do I, not. Don't, I don't trust it. I, I can't, I, but I can't say categorically it's not to be trusted. I, I wouldn't even that. buy a Russian car, dude, let alone yeah. inject vaccine in me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck. So uh, again, the Moderna and the and the um, Pfizer are mRNA vaccines. It's a new technology. It's been used for other things around the world, never used in this country before. Everything's looking good. It's on track. It seems to 95% efficacy, really no long-term side effects that we know of. It's good. It looks like it's going to be good. Next, uh, AstraZeneca. I'm not super hot on that vaccine. Uh, Johnson & Johnson, that vaccine I hear that looks one's good. good. That looks good. And then Novavax coming on the heels of all Do that. we really have a say in terms of what vaccine we're going to be able to receive? It's kind of, um, aren't we at the mercy of what? A little it, what, bit. Yeah. Uh, you're really at the mercy of the queue. Like how fast do you want to get through the line is the mm. question. You and I can take our time, right? So we can, you know, that was the one thing. It's so funny. That, so, so, so here's something else happening emotionally. When I was lying there the first three days I was sick, I had negative tests. I don't know if yeah, you remember this. so did my, I. My tests were negative. And I thought, oh, shit. I was lying in bed Sunday night. Christmas Eve was Thursday night, and I was in bed Sunday night. I hadn't had a positive test, and I'm lying there going, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm going to get tested in the morning. What if it's not positive? Yeah. What is this? Oh, my God. It's acute lymphocytic leukemia. I know it. <laughs> it it's got to be. That's the only thing that will do Acute lymphocytic this. Leukemia. lymphocyte. Uh, it's, it's, uh, lympho. It's, 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 you know, normally in kids, but when it hits adults, it hits just like this. And uh, it's like you can get acute myelogenous leukemia. It's a little different in the different forms of it. But ALL just, boom, it's like this. And it's rare, but it happens in adults, older adults occasionally. And I thought, fuck, I've got to be ALL. I know it. And uh, get ready for chemo, bone marrow biopsy in the morning. I'm literally having this conversation <laughs> with myself. Oh, Jesus. And, and then I tweeted that I'm hoping for a positive test. Destroyed on Twitter. Yeah. Destroyed. How dare you? How dare you wish to have COVID? <laughs> so what, is the, what is the matter? I know. What is the matter with you? I know. What is I the know. matter with you? It's the I opposite know. of this. It's the opposite, my it's dear. It's so silly. Yeah, because I too tested negative two times before I got a positive and I was losing my mind. So on the 20th, I had anosmia yeah. and a little runny nose. I go, I th I think this is COVID. This is definitely one of the telltale. I got an, uh, the swab, the 15 minute and the lab test. Both were negative. Yeah, two days later, yeah. same shit. Yeah. Both were negative. I go, I'm not get. <laughs> I, I would, didn't get any near anybody. Good. And, uh, but still it took, it took a while. So and, I don't buy these fucking, and, don't, don't believe these negative tests and, that people are getting. You, if you have, if you have likely symptoms, keep getting tested at least for a week. Or stay you know. away from people yes, in the meantime too. Yes. But my goodness. But, but I have to say, in spite of the vitriol and the, the cesspool that is Twitter, <laughs> the fucking cesspool that it is that we call Twitter. It is a garbage um, dump. The mommies were amazing. Always. The mommies were amazing. Always. They missed us. They were phenomenal. Aww. They, and they showed up on Instagram and they were yeah. over there a bit. And they also showed up on my, I do a streaming show most days. They showed up on that. Good. The mommies were very supportive and lovely. And I appreciate it. The King thanks you. <laughs> the King thanks you too. Well, I mean, nobody <laughs> wants to get COVID, but at least if you know what it is. Well, I said, at least I'll get immunity out of this. At least I'll get that's immunity. The, that is the and, blessing in the sky. And, and I don't have ALL. This is, this is what, and, and, if, and if, if you're not smart enough to think that through, then shut the fuck up on Twitter. Wow, yeah. Yeah, get out. So, and be People rational. are so be rational. mean. So mean. For no Can we use our right hand now, too? Well, I use my right. I wipe with my right. But I mean, we... <laughs> <laughs> this so should we be the... Switch. Wait, I, this, I worry... this should be the Yeah, see, <laughs> the I symbol. worry the, the right hand feels too much like this. Like a C, Kyle? <laughs> so so, I, so I, I feel like left hand might maybe gives us a little bit of a pass. God, my hands look old. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Stop it. You know they can inject all kinds of stuff into your hands, too. They no. Do, uh, to, Botox for your hands? Uh, no, it's not Botox. It's more like filler. Because oh, you lose mass and soft tissue. That's and fine. That's all right. crazy let's, let's, talk. Oh, what are we doing here? Hand filler. Yeah, no, hand filler. Do no, it. Sure. That's absurd. There they are. I Look don't at them. Care. Hand lift anti-aging. No. Oh, yeah. Anti-wrinkles. No. Hand stuff. No. All right. Let's 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 do a little VM. Let's no. do a little voice message. Voice. I miss the mommies. I want to hear from the mommies. Let's see They're what they the get. They're the best. I know. They're sane people. I was just telling Tommy yesterday, because there's a guy, shout out to Dion if you're listening. We always see him in our neighborhood and he listens to the show and he delivers Postmates all day. And our fans are the coolest. Whenever I meet somebody in my neighborhood, they're like, I'm a mommy. They're, uh, they're people that are pretty fucking sane. And, I, and I they're, they're better with the, what should we call them? The, uh, not acronyms, but the little 
<laughs> the, the, the slogans, like buzzwords. The slogans yeah, they look, are. They're better than I am. I I'm know. like, huh? I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. My king above eighteen, my queen right. above eighteen. That's what he called me today, Dion. He goes, "What's up, my queen above 18? What he called you? Who no, no, he. You? We're standing in line at the coffee place. I see oh, him, oh, at, and oh, he goes, yeah. "What's up, my queen above 18? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "What's we gotta up, We got to see some. Do we have some queen talks coming or anything? Yeah, my oh. name is Derek, and I've always wondered. So, in my early twenties. And even into my uh, early 30s, I've been uh, multi-orgasmic or, like, after I make white, I will continue to stay hard to continue to make white. Ooh. Wow. Uh, is it a normal thing or... No. Uh, no, that's unusual. I so oh, no. great. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. I, I thank you, buddy. I, Congratulations. I am, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, congratulations. Uh, I have spoken to guys that are capable of doing this before, that, so I know that it exists. It's not something he's making up. Uh, it makes kind of sense because if you if you can replenish your seminal vesicles quickly, you know some people can produce a lot of stuff from the prostate, yeah. um, and it, it sort of makes sense. Be, certainly, being able to sustain an erection and keep sexual activity is common in young males. I was going to say, isn't that and, normal in like a sixteen year old? Yeah, and they can. And if it's a half hour later, you're making white. That's kind of not that <laughs> unusual. But if it's five minutes later, you're making white. That's unusual. So there you go. And and it's and it's not multi. Yeah, it's and that's. And that's not multi-orgasmic the way that women get multi-orgasmic. Women get multi-orgasmic. They have one, another, 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 another. Shit. I know you don't believe it, but that's what happens. Whatever, dude. And, <laughs> it's liars. <laughs> Talk to Kelsey Cook. I'll bring her in here. She Talk can... to Kelsey Cook. <laughs> okay, here we go. Another VM. Hi, Dr. Jean. My name's Emily. Hi, Emily. I have a quick question. I went to the eye doctor this morning, and she was telling me that my pupils are larger than most people's. Oh. Uh, my first question would be, my mom has Addy's syndrome, which causes blown pupils. Right. Could this be like a precursor to me potentially developing blown pupils in the future? Interesting. My second question would be, if my pupils stay dilated larger than most people's, do I perceive color differently than most people no. if I'm absorbing more light? No. Thanks, no, Dr. Drew. Think, maybe. I mean, Keep I don't think so. tight and you bet I'm coming up in May. Good. I'll see you in May. <laughs> There's uh, a saying. Uh, They're so know. good. I know. And, and uh, so blown the only time i ever see blown pupils like that who are people not on drugs uh, and it's sort of their baseline it's often when they've had trauma i've noticed that trauma survivors sometimes their autonomic nervous system is up and they'll the pupils will be a little bit bigger than they should be wow um, what she's talking about with her mom is called addie's pupil which is probably a viral infection of the nerve that blows one pupil you just if you see people with one small and one big that's addie's pupil typically and, and different than a What's it called? M m mm. It's like a m mimosa. Yeah, there's, there's, there can be a little defect in the iris that looks like a blown, a blown pupil. Interesting. That's more a congenital thing. Yes, there's I, an Addy's pupil. I know someone that has big pupils all the time. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, you think it's trauma related? Well, I, and it could be just not a genetic, you know, whatever. Should, but, yeah. but, I, but that I, I'm just reaching for what I've seen clinically when, when wow. I've noticed people's pupils are blown a bit. It's usually medication, drugs, and then I've noticed the autonomic nervous system. You know. Not just anxiety, but but something a little more going on. Being stimu yeah. overstimulated, something over dysregulated. So there you go. Do we have any more VMs? Jeez. I love I love these people. I love the ladies that call love us. They're the always ladies. giving great questions. The the mommy Hi, Jean. Hi, mommy Tina. That's... I'm Dr. Drew. My hey, name is Hannah, and I'm calling from Michigan. I'm calling about a very important pregnancy question. Uh -oh. I'm currently 15 weeks pregnant. Oh. With twins, holy oh. moly. Oh. I already moly. have one baby. Well, she's not oh. a baby. She's two. Wow. So I'm going to be a varsity mom. Anyway, Big that doesn't time. matter. I am what? calling about an extreme orgasm that I woke up to in the middle of the night yeah. after having a naughty dream. <laughs> and I'm wondering, is it possible for one of my twins to be pushing on my G-spot? How awkward is that? Yeah. Anyway, I love you guys. Love the show. I would love to learn more about my middle of the night orgasm. Yeah. Thanks. So, Bye. so God plays a great trick on humanity. Uh, the first trimester, you vomit all the time, and you don't want sex. And you want to sleep, be left alone. Second trimester, you're sort of in between. Third trimester, you're ready to go. I'm ready to party. Yeah. And the the everything swells down there, and there's pressure on it. So it's everything is, and you have shit tons of progesterone flying around from the placenta. Everything is geared up to hypersexualize what's going on. She's only on there. 15 weeks, she said. 
Oh, 15 weeks. So yeah. second trimester, she's right into that. She's asking but if the it, baby it, can push it, well, it's, on it's, the it's, G-spot? It, it's not the baby pushing. It's the general, you know, twins, they you, expand quickly. Oh, and, that could be why. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And, and, but again, it's all the pressure on the pelvis. That's the issue. Not yep. the baby. It's not the baby's like. <laughs> yeah, it's like rubbing your G's. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what's happening, lady. And the hormone fluctuation. Well, two, two, two placentas. Two placentas. Oh, you've got so, double time going yeah. on. So a lot that's of stuff why. going on there. And uh, yeah, so normal. it's all normal. Happens a lot. Uh, yeah. And um, and you can have sex, you know, still. If, if yeah, provided your if pre- you obstruction. Feel... Well, if the obstruction releases you to do it. It's so gr- Like when you're super preggers, though, it's, uh, it's hard to find the right position, you know. And you don't feel so pretty. It's what did you call it? Side Side Me Mommy. <laughs> That's when we started doing Side Me Mommies. When you it's spoonsies. Yes. You can spoonsies when you're preggers. Yeah. But you're gonna get real big with twins too. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, good times. Well you remember that was your trip. And it's funny, you know, men fall into two distinct categories with pregnant women. They're either attracted, like they find yeah. it very sexy, yeah. or turned off completely. It's so interesting. <laughs> I would and go these are these are different dudes. These are like they like they don't cross over at any point. You don't move from one category to the other. Where, well, what were you? <laughs> I was kind of into it. Yeah. yeah. Tom was totally into it. Yeah. Just because it's something different. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's I think, just yeah. like, so great. <laughs> and then I would go to this, the public swimming pool with El- when I was pregnant with Ellis, and there was a, there were a few perverts even. Yeah, yeah. Some who guys would, are way into it. Yeah, 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 yeah. who would start flirting with, and I was like, bro, like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. this is someone else's like, baby. Like, like they like, can't I'm control not... themselves. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, look at me. I'm fucking huge. I was so fat, I wonder too. if the king's into it. The king is into anything. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he That's would true. take whatever. Well, the boobs coming. come along with that too, and so the king oh, would the be. the boobs, the boobs. The king would be in. God, my tits were so fucking well, big. <laughs> well, there you go. There's the. God, will you Google? There's a picture of me pregnant <laughs> with Ellis. Google Christina P. Burt Kreischer, Leanne, <clears throat> dinner, pregnant. Dinner. You're out to. I dinner. was out to dinner, and I gave birth the next week. Images. There, there we are. That's me a week before giving birth to Ellis. I was enormous. So, God, look, Tom was big too. But there's a picture of us sitting down. Go back to the two image wives search. and a bottle of wine. Is it that one? Maybe it's a. Uh, you're terrible at this. No, I'll take go to the image search. I'll take your word for it. I was it. so fucking big. I, I believe you. Eighty pound. All right, forget. Eighty it. pounds of baby and placenta and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I'm fat. Okay, forget it. You're, you're terrible. Go to the image part of the search. Yeah, click. That's what he was looking at. Fuck, you're so slow. Mm. All right, forget it. It's me sitting and I look like a fucking whale. My tits are enormous. I wanted you to see my tits, but that's okay. Next time. (laughs) Good days. One more VM. Yeah, yeah. One more. VM, I think you said BM. Hi, Dr. Drew. My name is Sarah from South Dakota. Mm -hmm. And my question is about weed smoking and how it reacts to like people with ADHD or oh. ADD. I heard you talking to Nikki Glaser about it yep. um, on one of your other podcasts. Yep. Um, and you said something about it working for a little while, but then eventually it kind of stops working. Right. And I'm interested to know um, how weed affects someone of my age. I'm 27. I've been smoking weed for 10 years. Oof. And I am also diagnosed with ADHD. Um, and I do see myself getting kind of spacey sometimes. Yeah. You got so You got to come off. I'm curious if that yeah. has something to do with yes. it. Thanks, yes, it Jeans. Does. Love the you, show. You... Also, Rational Revolution. Hail, hail, hail. Hail, 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 honey. Hail. Uh, tr- 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 see if you can get yourself off uh, off the drug, uh, and, oh, and give yourself about three or four months, and see if you don't clear. And um, it, it it has cumulative effects. I'm not saying you would never use it again. I don't know if you're addicted or not. You should be able to control it. Uh, you will be shocked at how much clearer you are when you stop. It, the cumulative effects are subtle. They take a long time, and they block some of your insight, so people aren't aware it's happening to them. Um, and the thing that most manifests, particularly in the young males, they don't. They can't get this shit done. Mm. They just can't get it done. I'm I'm in that state right now. I, I'm just losing track. Can't tra- get it. I'm done. just losing track of stuff. I, I I have things I'm supposed to do. I know and I those just, days. Just gone. Just like, I can't fucking yeah. get. I can't. Well, it's even can't even not even not getting to it. It just, just yeah, it just goes away. And I'm like catching up on stuff. Going, oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. And it, it does those kinds of things to people. And and I like I was I, I think I think is there a Teen Mom episode coming up I, where I was talking to one of the kids who was a heroin addict trying to manage mm. the heroin with cannabis, which I'd much rather he do. Yeah. But he was wanting to like do stuff in his life i said dude it's probably not gonna happen until you get really sober that uh, is so true i yeah. mean look i haven't done pot or 
alcohol <laughs> since December 20th. And some like, people that has no effect on, by the way. No, not, some not people everybody. are Yeah, people super, can go, can use it and be But fine. don't you find those people have, I mean, this is just my observation, uh, have super uh, levels of energy. And, and intellect. And usually. intellect. Yes, and, then, and if they take pot, it's like it brings them down to being normal. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's I'm sort of what dudes I know. Like and, and they don't seem to have the cumulative stuff. Though, though I have occasionally seen patients like 20 years or 30 years later going, oh, I'm having a problem. Yeah. Uh, so it I, takes a took, long time for some people. If I do pot regularly, it fucking, it dulls me I did down. it for a week in college and I and I scared the hell out of me because I could not finish my, cal- I could not do calculus. Oh, I've I couldn't, never been able I couldn't, to do calculus. But I couldn't, I couldn't, <laughs> my working memory, I couldn't hold something in mind yeah, while yeah, I was Yeah, yeah, same. And it was, Everything I was like, affects oh, you. I heard damage my brain, everyone such and stuff again. Yeah. yeah. And I, I didn't I, really I like think. it. That's the other thing. The, that's how you can know it's so different biologically for different people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some people are just, oh my God, it, it triggers the anandamide system in the, um, Enter cingulate, which is like, mommy, I love this. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. beautiful. But, mm. And I get it. I get how alluring that is. Um, and I told Christina, I had this weird experience with COVID. With the last two nights, I've been feeling just shitty. I went out to dinner two nights ago, my first outing. And I had a glass of wine to dinner, and I just felt so much better. <laughs> it was yeah. like, like alcoholic. It, it turned me into an alcoholic, the it's COVID. Great. Yeah. It's great. But there is something okay. Maybe the pot will be better with me, too. Maybe try it. Yeah. But don't you, sometimes you need a glass of wine. Sorry. But I've never had this feeling like, before oh, where I please. suddenly, and usually it makes me kind of tired and kind of, you know, but this, like, I got energy. Got energy. I like, felt like I, <laughs> I can make it through dinner because I wasn't sure I was going to make it through dinner. You know, I'm like, I may have to go lie down. And, uh, different alcohols affect me differently chardonnay turns me into a frat boy <laughs> tequila i'm like blah, blah, blah. so maybe it's what you had what could did you be have? it was wine it was red wine red but uh, yeah tequila is off limits for mrs pinsky oh but for any human no, sane no, 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 no. person be- well because she becomes so aggressive <laughs> <laughs> like like aggressive. Uh, like hostile and aggressive really? oh yes oh beyond oh i just turned into a bigger idiot <laughs> God, All right. So embarrassing. Uh, where should we go? Clips. I, I want a little more talks. A little more talks, maybe. And then we're going to go to clips. Talks. Yeah. I love- Congratulations, Uncle Terry, for surviving your fourth stroke. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> That's oh. it. That's the oh. whole talk oh, in its entirety. God. That's the story. Why, why do people just do 15 <laughs> seconds when they should do 60 seconds? Thank you, because they're not aware that they can. They can't just make it sixty they, seconds. They, they be, all right, so they do. Do they do a bunch of fifteen second stuff? <laughs> yeah, and it just cuts off, which is so great. They're like, "Thank you, Uncle T-. and it's gone. <laughs> no, and, they, but, and then they post it. Well, let me ask you: <laughs> um, having f- four strokes and no neuropathy issues. No, but uh, that person should be dead. No, after a fourth, the fourth. We, it depends what we're talking about. Yes, I mean yes. What are we talking uh, about? These they, sometimes they're gonna be tiny little ones. Like, oh right, yeah, know, yeah, little, yeah, yeah. They clip off little pieces of the brain. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. But, Ma- Moss, please. But that person will die soon, right? Uh, it depends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I think COVID has affected people. Where do you find? Well, this that's thing? what I'm saying. The the algorithm has presented me with just rando dudes. It's doing a, but, weird but stuff. We we have to pay attention to what's over his left ear. Oh, look! It's like a. It's this is like Frankenstein's laboratory. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that. He, he's got like capacitors, <laughs> like going in sequence. Like he's in some sort of electron uh, Tesla's those, lab or something. Are those piss jars? I'm thinking he's collecting his uh, own. That would fit with this. All right, one yeah. more. Give me another talk. <laughs> piss jars for degenerating good morning my king uh, yeah 18 time to wake up yes uh, ma'am come on. yes sir i let you sleep in for the last couple days <laughs> thank you i you appreciate that sleep. very beautiful today <laughs> put them feet on the ground I can't. and take off running i can't i can't you do that, enjoy king. your day and you have fun thanks okay you're done all right <laughs> the king's okay. getting ready to go to work go to you work. guys have fun go enjoy ahead. i will he Thanks, let you, you sleep remember, in the you king loves my queens and kings above 18. <laughs> tonight i have got a brand new shirt that i'm going to put on my web oh he's trying to merge you guys oh, are going to like it okay <laughs> it also goes to you guys the kings and the queens. Okay. Oh, shit. And so the it's always the queens. Keep watching my videos tonight, and I will put it on either tonight or uh-huh. tomorrow. All right. Thanks, King. 
You guys are going to like it. Okay, you're done. You're okay, done. I love my now. kings Bye. and queens Bye. above 18. You Bye. guys have a good day. Thank you. Spoiler I'll, I'll alert. I've best. seen the new shirt design. And it is fantastic. What is so it? you will be buying what it. What is it? What is it? You're just going to have to wait and see. Because oh. when I debut oh. it. Speaking of debut, you brought some other uh, clothing, some other elements of attire. I did. I to, did. Uh, One yeah. second. Hold so on. we had a long conversation <laughs> last time about me being under Christina's sway, where I wanted her to be so happy and I liked her so much that I'd do anything for her. And she says I should wear a diaper and, and shit and pee myself while <laughs> while we're doing the show. Yeah. And, and I didn't really feel super cool about that, but I agreed I would do it if necessary. I'll do it with and you. And then you said you'd do it. Well, here's and, the deal. I didn't bring an extra pair of un, of pants today. Yeah, yeah. I feel, though, I don't trust these. Yeah, it may could overflow. Okay, let me see. Because right now, I've got a full bladder. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> those, those actually look appealing right now. I know, <laughs> I know. Let's see, because I know my kids die dies. Dude, this is this in no way would hold what I have to give. Right yeah, now. I'm afraid not. Yeah, yeah. I feel yeah, like I this would... could barely handle a period. Okay, let's see. That's true. Dude, how is this going to absorb all the piss I have right We're now? We're going to have to come in with like bathing suits or something. Okay, so let's something. think about this. I'll, I'll, I'll wear like track pants next uh, time. Uh. I, I, we have to. I can't wear jeans over that. No. That's going to be gnarly. And bring a second pair of track pants. Yeah. About fuck, we should put plastic down on. I was chairs. gonna say, what about the furniture? Because <laughs> <laughs> so. I do want to feel the freedom that my is children. Tom, is Tom know? signing off on this? He, he doesn't this? know. He's busy. He, he's, he's rehabbing okay. from his tragic right. accident. Okay. <laughs> okay, I just want to make sure he's oh, cool with this. Dude, these are just like the training pants my kid wears at night. Yeah, I'm a big kid now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pull ups are called yeah. something like that. These are pull ups. Yeah. Dude, how rad would this be if you could wear these in traffic in LA traffic or just. During the podcast, I'm sure somebody does. <laughs> I like the pink. I like the pink. Yeah, I like I'm this. I'm going to express my gender fluidity if I do this. <laughs> I just don't trust that this is enough <sighs> cotton. It isn't, but we're going to test it out. What if I wore two? We'll get there. I okay, think I'm part of the problem it. is it's going to come out the sides if it's we really gonna... get it going here. <laughs> so <laughs> It's going to come out the side. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited to try this to, to feel what it feels Not like. Not today, folks. Not today. Not today. You Coming come, up in May. <laughs> Coming up in May. You so, betcha. So, all right. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> let's uh, let's keep going here. Let's uh, we have some clips up there. Voice messages. God, I really we have, have to pee. Uh, which, Can I which, take a pee break? I, I really have to pee pretty. Now let's talk about this. pee. It's our show. You do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah. Right. Nadav, you cool with this? Yeah, we do this on YMA. I'll take a pee. All yeah, right, go. I'm ready. Next up, HelloFresh. You get fresh, pre-measured ingredients, mouth-watering recipes delivered right to your door. HelloFresh lets you skip those trips to the grocery store. They make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable, and that is why it is America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh cuts out meal planning, grocery trips, as I said, so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. And HelloFresh offers over 23 recipes each week featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients so you never get board and eating healthier has never been easier with low-cal carb smart vegetarian pescatarian options i love the quality of the vegetables the quality of the meat and i'm kind of picky about that stuff and i was truly impressed so go to hellofresh.com slash dr drew 10 use code drdrew10 for 10 free meals including free shipping again HelloFresh.com slash Dr. Drew 10. Use code Dr. Drew 10 and you get 10 free meals as well as free shipping. That's a good deal. Let's do it one more time. HelloFresh.com slash Dr. Drew 10. America's number one meal kit. It is HelloFresh. Chemesh, Arba, Shalosh, Stein. Did he learn that from the dog? <laughs> yeah, no, he speaks uh, Hebrew too. Oh, so he, he didn't just like pick it up from. You don't speak Hebrew? No. Josh, did you, did you pick it you? up from Nadav? Yeah, I picked it up from Nadav, and apparently I, I don't say any of those words right either. It sounded pretty good to me. Yeah, what are you talking about? I thought so too. Nadav. Yeah. Nadav I, just I, 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 yeah. Aging brain. <laughs> it's all right. All right, Mr. Purist, <laughs> Hebrew purist. Uh, but I must tell you, just when I went pee, I was yes. thinking how happy I am to be here, and I'm, and I'm getting through, like, I'm not me myself by any means, mm. but I so am having appreciating being here with you again me too you. this yeah. is the the it's therapeutic sanctuary. for me a little bit yeah yeah these podcasts like what if we didn't i'm just so thankful i know i know what if we didn't have this uh, dude i don't know it, this year was so brutal and um 
I'm just so thankful. Well, thank you and Tom for making me be a oh, part of this. Of I mean, course. beyond. So. Of course. You're so easy to work with. <laughs> well, God, still, your joy. It's still work. It's still work. You know what I mean? You, I mean, for you, you have to come in, you have to do work. And so for me, it's joy. Jokes. Joy, joy, joy. Jokes. <laughs> All right. So we've got lots of stuff. We have uh, more. And what should we do on the clips here? I, I don't. What kind of clippies? Uh, video help? massage cool guy. That sounds interesting to me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds interesting. Oh. Hey, Natalia, it's Elliot. So I finally got my video C up and running. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to shoot this video to invite you to Curio this Wednesday at 7 p.m. We could do six or eight, depending on the schedule, but uh, my schedule's pretty tight. When I'm not bartending, I'm shooting videos like this, outreach to the dentist, get them on the phone, selling them, taking care of their ads, all that stuff. So. Uh, look, man, Curio, awesome spot in German Village. You've obviously heard of it before. It is literally is the Nashville? best hidden kept jam in German the city. Village? I mean, you got to go just for your own self-education of what's awesome in Columbus. Columbus. You know what I'm saying? So you and I, well, this Wednesday, going. 7 p.m. Look, obviously I'm attracted to you. Is this You're how people ask people out now? They You're said obviously videos? a smart girl. You're about to be a dentist. You know, I'm a recovering attorney with an MBA who's about to be a millionaire in the next 18 months building a digital marketing agency whilst bartending. <laughs> uh, we are obviously two catches that have actually uh, Dude, come together. Do not oversell. Do, 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 let's stop. Not let, stop. Let's not let ourselves get busy because I know oh my I'll God. probably get super busy. I you hope your job doesn't include busy, selling. And then life will just take us to our next course. I don't want that to happen without us at least All right, we sitting have to, down. It's, having it's, a enough, enough. I can't stand it. Does it it's, get better? No, of it course keeps not. Going? It just gets way, way worse. I mean, this uh, guy. This reminds me of the guy is very the common. ceiling fans. Beauty and brains <laughs> is not. And that's what always has intrigued me. And then sure enough, that's what's intriguing me about you. So yeah, man, let's chill. Let's hang out. Let's have a conversation. Get some cocktails, chill. Be a good time. See you, babe. Text me back if you're interested. Whoa. Bye. Well, no text. Anyway, but 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 you know, it's interesting to me. It it yeah, let's, let's break this yeah, down no a little bit. Yeah, no text. Gone. Yeah, gone. it's not happening. So tell them why. But tell the men listening why this doesn't work. Uh, if they don't know. If they don't know. It, 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 well, first of all, it's intriguing to me to use video to ask somebody out. It's kind of intriguing. Like, so it should be very simple. Hey, you know, I noticed you. I really am attracted. I don't know if you know me, but I'm, you know, out, and blah, blah, blah. But just stop. If, if. It's the same thing as asking for somebody's number, kind of. You know what I mean? It's intriguing, keep but... It, keep but it very short. Not likely to work, but, but keep it very video short. But the video is never... It never works. That's why we get submitted these so much, because they don't work. It is, and does the girl who got that video send it to you? I'm is assuming that where you got it? Yes, I'm assuming that she got it. And <laughs> oh, that's brutal. Spread it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so brutal. It is so brutal. So you got to keep in your head that these women are going to take these things and put them out. Uh, and, and but But to be... <laughs> It's creepy. I, I don't know how else to say it. It, it gets creepy when you're yeah. when you're going on. Hey, babe. Hey, blah, 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 as as though that's something a woman wants to hear. As we yeah. discussed earlier, women wants competency, clarity. They mm -hmm. want to know you're attracted to them. Yeah. And uh, I, I, they're either interested or they're not. You know what I mean? It's like you can't. You can't. Right. And also, once you agree in the courtship process, that less is more. That's what I'm saying. Less is more. And and if you want to talk about your accomplishments and who you are that'll happen at dinner if, if, it, if it's appropriate Yeah, and don't be braggy like that like i'm gonna no. be a future millionaire yeah. like it's fine to let her know of your ambition you're right no. but in if, person and if you are a millionaire don't show pictures of your cars or anything else no don't, don't, nothing uh, like that works it does not work well because you don't want that girl that's just attracted to you for money anyway even those you... girls aren't going to do it with with this because they're even they're going to be creeped out even you know what i mean yeah, yeah it's too much of a hard sell he needs to dial it back and yeah. here's the thing, he's cute. He didn't need to do all that no, nonsense. He, there were a couple moments where I thought, that, those, just those yeah, moments. Just... And that's that's it. Send it on. May not work. It's intriguing using video, whatever. But uh <laughs> Man, that video shuts me down. Like I see it and Dry I'm just like, Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's a vaginal dryer. <laughs> Yeah. 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 It's like pussy repellent. <laughs> that video, man. Can you articulate what that is? Because hard as a man. I'm trying. Because yeah. I have so much. I have so much sympathy for men who ask women out. It's really daunting, and you're really putting yourself out there. Yes. And I understand that. So I'm always trying and, to be very sympathetic mm -hmm. when I was single to whoever was approaching me. And by the easy. way, when women ask men out, which is perfectly fine. Nope, I disagree. But I'm just saying. But let me just say. Not perfectly. Part fine. of the problem is we don't know how to say no. Yeah. So we just avoid and get weird, and uh, if we don't want to go out, we don't know what to do. 
And if we do, we're delighted. <laughs> when you call, we're delighted. Really? You oh it's my not, God. We it's, like, we're lazy. Let's work. Bring it. Let's go. You don't think it's repellent to no. the male? Some, some, but mostly not. I think it's against everything because listen, the man's got to be into you. Yeah, he's got to, sh- you got to see that. You, you, he's yeah. got to show you that first. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because the nature. Oh, no, don't. If you're the, if, if, no, 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 no. If he's not shown interest and you suddenly come in. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that doesn't tend to go so great. But if he shows the tiniest bit of interest, you're fine. But here's the thing because when it, listen. This is so old school and so politically incorrect, right. and I'm going to get so lit up, but I don't give a shit. Uh, is that when you have? I'm, I'm, I'm over it. I'm like, I'm, I've been there. I'm doing Madeline, it. I went down a Madeline Kahn hole too. <laughs> oh, tired Madeline. of being God. admired. You're tired of being loved. Tired of being used. <laughs> I'm tired of being desired. Below. Yeah, but the thing is, um, uh, so when you have a family with a man, he essentially. <laughs> Uh, puts down a, this is like a dr laura thing she would say that men lay down their lives for you they hunt Com- they provide commit they f- their lives to you. commit yeah. their like they do they're yeah. they're your they are your prince yeah. they are the the knight in shining armor and tom is that for me and if he's not fully into me he's not gonna do that right. they're not gonna do that shit for you right my husband would walk on hot coals and yeah. do anything right you for like me. That. Yeah. and i love that and i respect that i don't take advantage of that yeah. you know but he has to have that fire for you. That's why I don't like women asking the dudes. It fucks up uh, it, it nature. May, maybe a little bit. I get what you're saying. But he has but to have interest in you. You're right. If he shows interest, maybe. Maybe. I, I get. I get your concern. I get it, and I get why. But but I still think uh, some men are. There's a lot of men that if they see the numbers not matching, they won't. They won't reach up. What they, do you mean the numbers not matter? If, like, if he feels like he's she's out of his league, yeah, th- they just they don't want to deal. They just won't deal. And oftentimes men don't quite know their number, mm. and they should be reaching up a little bit. Yeah. You know, I think number should match. You know, but reach up a little bit. And if you're the you know if you show a little interest, then they're on. They're in. Yeah. And they didn't know they could be kind of thing. If you can break that ice, you're helping. But them. here's the thing: I don't want a guy that's too much of a weenie. That he doesn't have the courage. That's to ask. a different. That's a different issue, right? That's a different. That's a yeah. different ball game. Yeah. For me, I'd be like, Oof, "Why yeah. did you fucking nut up, bro? Just call me." <laughs> yeah, a lot of women are and that don't way. text me. You fucking call. How about a video? Nope. <laughs> I would die. Um, but if you, what if you're, what if you're, what if you're the king? Can he send a video? That guy is so confident, though. I feel like the, the king? king is a real. He throws it out there. It's not for me. There's it's not a my little. Style. There's a little. Uh, dominatrix quality to yeah, him. Yeah, that's it's a little too yeah, much. Yeah, it's a little little bit of that quality. All right, let's go to another. What? Uh, uh, let's see. Cool preacher. Wait, the, what's going on with Army Hammer? Yeah, what is going on? I don't know what's going on. Bro, I don't know. I don't bro, know. Bro, okay, let's bro, bro. Do let's yourself a favor, buddy, buddy. Uh, okay, 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 so Army Hammer, you know he's an actor. Yes, he was in uh, that film. Facebook movie. He plays the, the vocal twins, doesn't yes. he? Yes. Well, he also was the, the film where he falls in love with the young gay, m- young male. And he's a language, he's an archaeology professor. Sounds way too emo. Oh my for God. Me. I'm it was not where uh, in this movie kid... at all. Isn't, if, if, look, if it's not about it like, big hit. nerds getting beaten up on my. Right, okay. 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 Let me read this to you. This is his text to somebody. Some The person who submitted these blocked their, took their own text out so we don't know what the other person is saying. Okay. I want to see. I want to see everything. I want to see your brain, your blood, your organs, every part of you. I would definitely bite it 100%. Or try to fuck it. Not sure which. I can't read past the Probably camera. both. If I fucked you in a to a if I fucked you into a vegetative state, I'd keep you, feed you, wash you, and keep fucking you. B. <laughs> till you are so sore and broken. Oh, it's so romantic. Uh, oh my God, that made me just so hard and why me confused <laughs> as to why is that even possible? So hard thinking of holding your heart in my hand and controlling when it beats. I'm 100% a cannibal. I want to eat you. Fuck, that's scary to admit, B. Uh, I've never admitted that before. I've cut the heart out of a living animal before and eaten it while still warm. I don't know. It's wild, right? Does this keep going? Yeah. Uh, No, but when you said it made me realize it's not just saying it. A deer, I shot it, ran up, pulled out the knife, cut the heart out and ate it. Totally raw, still warm. I'd eat your heart if I wasn't stuck without you after. That's nice. <laughs> I didn't throw up. A friend of mine tried to take a bite. He threw up immediately. I took multiple bites. Nope. And then you've blocked this account. Is underneath it. 
Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going I'm to come thinking of breaking your bones. Talk to me. Text me. Text me about me breaking your bones while raping you. Oof. Yeah. And I'll send you the voice note while I come while reading it. Jesus. I know my cock is in my hands and I'm thinking of breaking your ribs. You so get this the point. Chick, this chick released all this? Yeah. Cutting which I don't pieces, think is cool. Send me a picture. Think of me eating you. What do you need to walk for? You just lay on a pile on the floor. I'll fuck you whenever I... Okay. So... What's going on? I don't know, but I don't feel like we should be dropping in on this. You know what I mean? Yeah. The fact that she decided to share this with the world is... I, I mean, the the right thing would have been... Uh, Army, we're friends. This is creeping me out. This is not okay. <laughs> I think you need to see a doctor. You know not what? releasing it to the world. Dr. Drew, I agree with you. Yeah. I think there's a lack of decorum here. Whatever happened to what happens uh, between two people is their business. And but like, not only their business. This is like... He's he's showing something about himself that is clearly raw and you know fucked up and and wor he's worried about even you can kind of see it in the yeah. thread he should be worried about it and the the thing should be concern in response not I'm going to humiliate the shit out of you for making me feel whatever she felt yeah you know what I mean that is a bummer I don't like that don't that like being that said wow what wow. a fetish so well I don't know if he just discovered it there and just with this chick or what's that. going on. I doubt that. Uh, I doubt. I mean, he... He's... And, and then again, who are we to say if it's just a fetish? It's just like he likes thinking about it, talking about it. I'm just saying there is such a thing. There is. He doesn't have to be a violent maniac to have a fetish that's violent. He yeah, keeps I, it there. That's he keeps I, well, it there. here's the thing and I, and I was a little concerned about is like he mentions killing a deer and so he's acting out already a little bit on yeah, these things. If, if he kill really animals have. and hunt animals not, and stuff. But not rip out the heart and I, take I a bite. I don't know what he was up to. I don't know what that was. Maybe somebody, you know, said, the Indians, we used to, well, well, you know, we it's good for you. You know, people, people get weird ideas. Yeah. Right? Now, the reason he went from there to a generalized <laughs> sexual notion about all these things, that's weird. Mm. That's weird. And uh, could be a little sorting out. Intriguing. You might like to get that sorted Intriguing. out. Intriguing. But I also had it. Can I tell you? <sighs> this is not good. But I had a romantic thought reading those. I actually was kind of like, you know, when you when you pet your dog or you, you love I wanna your. I want to eat you. I yeah. Eat you. That's what he's going for. Yeah. I, I understand he's going for that. It just, it just <laughs> it went over the line. Is that how and, it started? He's like, you're just so cute. I want to eat you. It's kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, whoa, I'm into this. How and far? fuck you. Let's and see. fuck your body parts. <laughs> and break your bones. Whoa, it's awesome. Let's keep yeah. going. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, come on, everybody. Let's, I know. let's give him a little coverage. I do think it is unfair that the lady exposed him. I hate with, that With clearly shit. the intention of a maximal humiliation. Yeah, it's a bummer right? that he's not going to have a life. He may not get work because of oh my god that's because awful because of some fucking texts that's awful some private texts don't uh, I know it's so mean don't imagine anything's again, private guys so amusing thank you so much yes yes <laughs> you made Christina happy that was and, uh, fascinating thank you Queens Above eighteen yeah and I don't judge Army I, I'd still like to see him in a movie I'd probably go see his movies now even more well interesting the horny I, cannibal I I'd be the, like yeah I, dude and I. <laughs> Starring that <laughs> the horny cannibal film It'd be great, but but I would say hopefully the directors and producers have the balls to step up and cast him in something. But I'm afraid that's, the you know the organizations don't. They're, they're, that's the weeniness of Hollywood. Everything, yeah. all businesses are scared natives right Pussies, now. Pussies, yeah. Mm. Fucking pussy. All right, give me some more. I want some more. What what do we got up there? Welcome what's what's with McConaughey? What's Dave. up with him? <laughs> <laughs> what is up with Matthew McConaughey? So I mean, you know him. Yep. And uh, do you know him personally? Met him a couple times. I don't really know him. Is he the way he is on social media that he is in real life? Is he that intense, I think, is what I'm trying to say. Is he this guy when you've met him? Uh, let's see it. Roll. Oh, 2020. You year of wouldas, couldas, and limbos of the maybe so's. Yes, you made us look you in the eye and recognize. And now, as we stabilize, organize, and get on the ready to respond, we have to reveal and revive so we can testify. It's on you. Well, first of all, it's on me. First of all, that is cultural appropriation. How dare you? Green lights, oh. baby. He's pretending to be a different ethnicity than he is. Uh oh, shame, uh, him. shame, shame, shame him. Shame him. Go shame, after shame. him. Secondly, get him. Secondly, yes, that's him. That's him. <laughs> that, like that all the him. time. That is yeah, him. I yeah. figured he's always like that. Because I've seen him so many times now in commercials and, and now on social media. He's consistently like this. Yeah, and this I him. love him. Yeah. I love yeah. it now. I'm yeah, so into him. it. Yeah. Good for him. It, it's a little, it, it gets to be a much to be around. It's not like you can't 
I, I don't know. He must have quiet time somewhere with somebody, yeah. but it, it, this is him. So what's the intensity? What, what's the, is that, just, I don't, I'm uh, trying to understand uh, here. I don't know him well enough to tell you. Drogas? Mm, this ain't drugs. Because no, he's no, always no. like this. No, he's, it, it he, he, it's a, um, I kind of feel like it's a perf- oh, it's performative. Kind of, yeah, a bit, a bit. Like, like, like this isn't his real self. This is his, how he performs in the world with I don't people. No, because the thing is, yeah. I know so many crazy comedians. Like, I know Joey Diaz. Yeah. I've known that guy for yeah. a long Joey's time. Joey's who Joey is. Joey is Joey no, is that's Joey. That's different. I think that's different. Really? I think. <laughs> Because this, yeah, always, this always feels a little bit um, you gotta testify, a- a- affected to me. Like, yeah, it feels a little yeah. like an affectation. Joey never feels like an affectation. <laughs> I no. believe him when he says the shit he says. Yeah. And by the way, never met him. And I'm so mad you guys haven't introduced me to him. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, you made me stay outside when he was on during the live show a couple live shows ago. Wow. And I was looking forward to talking to him. Probably because of COVID. He's very afraid uh, of... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, all right. So. You know, rightly so. All right. Uh, one more. Yeah, one testify. More, one more. Let's get, let's get a TikTok in just to bring me back to the get my the TikTok bread. life. You know, I can wish I'm going to return to. He does. Following he it. does plan what he says, McConaughey. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Oh. Uh. oh. <laughs> what just happened? Do we yeah. Know? So yeah. So this is the um, <laughs> this is an algorithm I dialed into of like people who who it's their first time on TikTok and they don't know how it works and they haven't yeah, watched other people's that. talks. <laughs> also dials into the male foot fetish lane, which uh, I've come across on well, the talk as and, well. And give it to me one more time because the environment of hair here is quite interesting. <laughs> With look at the look, well, he's in his closet, closet, which he's also is his living room. Yeah. Uh, there's a fan, fan. Confederate flag. Oh, is it Confederate flag? Yeah. He's got but, head tattoos. Yeah, it's, it's scalp tattoos is a is a move. Yeah, it's a thing. Bold. It's a, but it's uh yeah, <laughs> and and it's it's not it's not like neck tattoos. Yeah. Oh. Neck tattoos. Ugh. What's the what's neck tattoos? Just as meth criminal kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, oftentimes, I'm peace and love everybody, but yeah. uh, head tattoos. Um, there's often there's just a lot of stuff going on in people with the head tattoos. Head stuff. Well, well, so okay, hold a lot on. Of stuff. So neck is criminality, criminal. Yeah. yeah. Head is d- fetish. Because mm. the pig head, has I, head. It, it, head is more. I'm presenting something to the world, but I'm confused. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like that. Like I, I got a lot of stuff going on. I it, it's it's not stuff. one thing. You know, it, neck is easy. Neck. Yeah. Be careful. Be Drug careful. Gang be careful. Just be careful on neck. And, yeah. and head is like you know. Head is like, I find you don't head, give a fuck, bro. No, yeah, they, they're always very amusing. They're always very entertaining. The, the this is tattoo. true because in the diehard tattoo people I've known, like this is like, I've even had relatives with a little, uh, no, yeah. no, but I've never had the re- with the head. Well, when you have scalp. the full neck, I'm talking about. Yeah, Not yeah, just like I some know. stars or something on it. That's there. like the guy from, what's that band, Blink-182? What's that guy? Tim? Oh, it's a, I know. I'm sure you dealt with brain. him. Oh, I know. Travis, Travis Barker. I know Travis well. Barker. I know Travis dealt, yeah, I that, that's right. I know you guys are homies. Yeah. yeah. But Travis was a bad drug addict when he was, you know, in his day. Case in point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And so there you go. But Travis was not a criminal. He was not. No. He's always been a very, very, very nice kid. Okay. Uh, we've we've said it all. Oh my god. We've said it all. <laughs> we've uh, We're gonna set do up it diapers all. for the future. We uh, have rekindled. I feel so much better. Yeah, me too. Thank you for letting us indulge ourselves a little bit in conversation because we don't see each other enough. We've been sick. We've been COVIDized. Uh, Stay well, everybody. Um, My queen's above 18. Kings and... (laughs) I've noticed the kings are more in now, too. My kings and queens. He's always bringing the kings in. in. He's inclusive. Uh, And so I've count myself amongst them. You got to be inclusive. So kings and queens above uh, 18. You you can all be coming up in May. And um, we appreciate you. Uh, don't don't get this thing. If uh, Get the vaccine as soon as you can. If you're in a, pro- a risk category especially, don't want to go through this. If you have questions about the vaccine, you can send them in here. I'll answer that kind of stuff here. Oh, there, cool. There's a little nuance to the vaccine therapies and stuff you might want to know about. And, um, and there's a lot of things to be done for COVID. This is the main thing I want everyone to know. You can stay out of the hospital. Doctors have to be more aggressive. Uh, you got to get your doctors to be bamlanivimab, decadron, ivermectin, Fluvoxamine, these are things out there, and and, and uh, toxaluzumab. There's a shit ton of literature showing that's good. Send it to your doctor, make them look at it. There's a weird resistance to doing it, and it really helps people. It helped me. I should have been hospitalized. I stayed out of the Seriously? hospital. Seriously? Oh yeah, yeah. Good lord. Oh yeah, yeah. Girl, I, I had that's the real terrible. deal. I had the real deal. But I. That you don't ba- want to go. You can't even go to the hospital in LA. Well, I didn't want to go because I didn't want to take a bed. 
because they yeah. need the beds. Uh, your prognosis changes as soon as you go into the hospital. You should stay out of the ER. You should do it all by telemedicine. I did telehealth the whole way. I had my That's excellent, a great suggestion. excellent doctor. You know, and you can do it. There's something called speakwithanmd.com that I'm here is good. Uh, heal.com is good. There's all kinds of stuff out there. Or just talk to your doctor on the phone. You don't have to be seen. You don't want to affect anybody. But don't go to urgent care. Don't go to the ER. Don't go to the hospital unless you desaturate, like your O2 drops below 92%. Get an O2 monitor. They're twenty bucks. You get them anywhere. Pharmacy, I got one Amazon. on Amazon. I got a bunch of them, and I, you know, I spilled coffee on one yesterday, and I had to get another one. But, uh, the, <laughs> but it's 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 easy to it's we can keep people out of the hospital, and when you go to the hospital, your prognosis changes. Number one, it gets what worse. Is, what do you mean? Oh, you need, like my my fatality rate would have gone from one percent to ten percent just by putting me in the hospital, right? Why is that? What do you mean? Because if you need hospital, it's a different population. You understand? It's, it's not just going through the door. It's, it's the fact that you needed to come through the door, that mm -hmm. you're now in a different category. And uh, I knew as long as I could keep my O2 up and keep the thing under control and use the Decadron and the Bamlanivimab and the monoclonal antibodies and stuff, and do not take no for an answer on the Bamlanivimab. It is outpatient, and it's covered by everything, including Medicaid, Medicaid, Medi-Cal. They have 80% of their 700,000 doses sitting on a shelf, 660,000 doses, that they can't get doctors mm -hmm. to prescribe for no good reason. It, you actually feel better while you're getting it. The infusion nurse told me that he hears that all day long. It's it, w it really stopped me from going down. Wow! Uh, didn't bring me all the way back. But as you see, I'm not all the way back yet. I will be. And you, um, you look good. Uh, I get the vaccine. We should have a much better vaccine rollout than we're getting. <sighs> Fight for that vaccine where it's oh appropriate. And we'll talk vaccine nuance if you guys send me some voice messages about that if you're interested. Yeah. And uh, we're immune. We can go out in the world. We can, we can be rational in the world. Well, will the vaccine affect white? I think that's the question we're going to get asked. Uh, it will not affect white okay. or brown. <laughs> okay. So this this so is important. good. The mommies are good. The mommies are good. <laughs> they're. they're <laughs> But you just know that if, you, if you're not in a risk category and you don't want to take, see, see the risk of the just, just, I know, I'll get out of this in a second. But the, the, the one thing is the, the risk of the vaccine is less than the, vix, the risk of the COVID if you're over 60. For the sure. risk of the vaccine is less than the risk. Right. If there's okay. any potential problem with the vaccine, it's going to be minor. It's and they say still within, lower than risk of getting within COVID. Within one month, they, you we'll, know the we'll side effects. Yeah. And, and, and by the way, then again, it's the morbidity of COVID, not just the mortality of COVID that I'm trying to protect people some from. Now, if you are 28 years old or 35 years old and you're a little circumspect about getting a new vaccine, I get that. Wait for Novavax. Wait, Wait for, for Novavax. Novavax. And wear your mask. Keep your distance. Do your good things. And uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Good to thank see you. you. Good to see you, Chuck. So feel, glad to be feel back. Feel better just being here. Oof, all right. Know. We'll see you all as well. Bye, G. Next time. All conversations and information exchanged during participation of the Dr. Drew After Dark podcast or interaction on the drdrew.com website is intended for educational and entertainment purposes only. Do not confuse this with treatment or physician medical advice or direction per se. You must always follow your medical professional's advice and direction. Nothing on these podcasts or posted on this site supplements or supersedes the relationship and direction of your medical caretakers. Please understand, I am not playing the role of physician in this environment per se. I'm educating. I am a licensed physician with specialty boards in American Board of Internal Medicine and American Board of Addiction Medicine.